Shout out to the VIP. This is London. Big pour down on, guys. Bitcoin. We're going to cover all the details. Very impressive in terms of the price action. I'm excited because we called this specific descending triangulation in the back very important. And I want to go through a stream just for a little bit. I may cut a live video. But in terms of this specific formation and the backdrop here of when we were trying to go up from the golden pocket, we'll talk about targets in one second. But I noted a lack of symmetry on the specific flag formation, guys. In terms of, I'd say in terms of the uh, bull pin formation which is a flag in the backdrop was this specific move to the downside that descending triangulation very bearish want to talk about uh, the trades in effect just congratulations to the vip you guys are absolutely killing and we're going to talk about the price target to the downside of the descending triangulation want to shout out to anthony my man what is up anthony way to go congratulations to the vip and uh guys this is uh, killing it in the back i want to shout out and guys take a look at this in terms of anthony's returns on this 849 percent 849 percent in terms of the short hit and it was initiated in this zone when we pulled this up in the back congratulations anthony you're good at hitting that button without a doubt just crucial uh, to go ahead and enter that trade hit the button descending triangulation bam it's often the formation of a top just huge uh, huge two people who are into uh, who are who are interested in shorting so congratulations anthony as you look at this specific zone in here i pointed this zone out to the vip earlier it is as we would look at the uh, and this is the important threshold that we would talk about this specific descending triangulation descending line of resistance flat bottom support you guys know this this specific amplitude move bam to the downside that specific measured amplitude move has been achieved period we have achieved that specific amplitude move the target has been struck period in terms of the measured move of that specific amplitude of the triangulation very important as we would look at the i'd say the features on the uh and shout out to the vip i hope you guys are having a good weekend this is a down weekend but guys vip are doing well or making money shout out to bill his first trade was what was that bill 500 percent hugely important i would imagine a lot of people are jumping into shorts right now don't you guys think the reset of the day getting into the week some people have been busy over the weekend just jumping into kind of uh, head first into the shorts let's talk about a level of support along this specific channel formation kind of an interesting uh, an interesting dynamic that has uh, that has us uh, watching that level several trades have occurred on that specific channel line formation to the downside if you guys have not joined vip yet and you're just kind of hanging out congratulations um you're at the right station but we would like to have you in the back have been trading it's been a nice weekend again this one down but it's been a nice a nice weekend in terms of the downside targets the 78.6 on the candle wicks would be 25,710. we're heading there guys we're heading to that 27 25,710. the 25,067 would be your classic 86 okay that'd be your classic 86 in terms of the retracement bam to the downside and then the full completion would be the 23,850 looking at the daily this is the most important thing in terms of what we'll be discussing today just hugely important as we look at the BTC USD chart let's go ahead and look at the macro considerations in terms of the golden pocket yet again this would be an incredible first hit for the USDT traders. Congratulations if you guys are, uh, I know that you're trading, but um, if you're looking forward and you have orders set at this specific golden pocket, and this will be crucial as we talk about the 61.8 right now, the 65th is really the target zone where USDT uh, differed from USD. If you look at the actual chart on the dollar pair, boom, the sweet spot, the hit, bam, right down into the 65th, that is what really mattered. Now, the important part that I'd like to discuss right now is that USDT, and let's flip over to USDT. Let's go to the USDT chart, and guys, shout out in the chat if you can, and hit the like button. Just uh, let me know that you guys are indeed uh, are indeed here and appreciate that and we'll go through these details i know you guys are trading and that you're busy etc looking at this guys let's draw this up in terms of the maximum but uh, i think you'll be pleased with where usdt finally is i know that trades are engaging and i know that you guys have been waiting for this specific moment let's go 69,000. let's make sure that we are 
purely accurate here and looking at this specific feature let's uh let's let's uh let's just look at the fact that the 61.8 has engaged we are below it right now the key feature the sweet spot was the 65th they got a perfect hit on the 65th and this is the classic golden pocket just so that you know i know that marge uh, today i think you uh, asked a question about that freddie also had a question about how do you put that on or, or what level should be on the Fibonacci's. I cut a quick video for you guys today in regards to that, but that's 61.8 to the 65th. Okay, it's kind of a fluid level. It is that 61.8 to the 65th. That is the golden pocket. The reason they call it the golden pocket is, is as we would talk about it, is that it is that natural expression. It is that that and, and it's a, it's a number. It's a it's a uh, Fibonacci's guys are. You'll have to read a bit about them. I don't want to get too technical, but it's a naturally expressed number attributable to growth. I'll just say that attributable uh, attributable to uh, natural growth functions. So the 61.8 is a natural level as we would look at this. And Pathfinder in the house, brother, appreciate you uh, shouting out. Thank you very much uh, for that. Thanks, brother. Appreciate you letting me know uh, that you're there. I'll shout out back to you. Say hello. What is going on, Pathfinder in the house? Always got time to talk to you, brother. Without a doubt. I know you're making money on shorts, and you probably have your orders waiting, and you're hot on that 86. A lot of good trades today. I want to, I want to shout out to the VIP, definitely. But this 61.8, this is kind of VIP go time, right? We're, we're there finally on the, on the USDT. You guys wanted the hit. We didn't get it earlier. You're getting it now. The unfortunate thing is that the USD pair already got it. But yes, macro golden pocket in the house. Uh, very exciting, isn't it? Uh, this is this is a uh, just we've been waiting for this moment for a while, so it's it's very appropriate that we're streaming. You guys know that we streamed live during the fifty percent retracement during those hits on the fifty percent retracement. To the extent that the golden pocket did not hit on the uh, on the USDT pair, it only hit on the USD chart. We were discussing that in the back live, etc. But we weren't actually streaming, so I'm glad to be streaming uh, for. Uh, the golden pocket hit that's important for us because we target I don't know a lot of groups that actually target and hit their targets I really don't know guys um, a lot of people may try and hit at an equivalent or a prior I'd say a prior uh, level of support a prior catch a prior uh, horizontal level maybe they have their own strategies etc but this is a crucial crucial level uh, for us short o'clock you got you got that right big time it is um it is uh it is uh, definitely short o'clock without a doubt we want to say uh vip i would put bam and uh shout out to uh shout out to pathfinder we appreciate uh, everything about uh just you and the group and everything the way it's coming along but just a lot of money being created and generated in the market right now you guys know that in terms of the downside targets i have the targets over on the uh over on the us uh, dollar pair we can put them on this specific uh function in terms of and we're just uh, we're, we're getting some nice downward price action uh short o'clock is right 2.27 percent to the downside Twenty five thousand nine hundred and seventy eight nine hundred and uh, nine hundred and eighty i'll just say guys equities right now it's just a scary environment right for equities but we thought we were ahead of this curve um and and the entirety of the time who would have thought that uh bitcoin would have uh kind of decoupled as they use that phrase but decoupled from the inflation argument like bitcoin was the solution uh, but i think people have just gone at the as the story would would go have gone so so far away from anything that involves any risk that it's just become uh, kind of a difficult uh, proposal for uh, really any uh, any investment at this point uh, there are some some hedges there are some different opportunities in the marketplace you guys probably know that as well if not better than than i do but just to discuss it, right? Uh, Bitcoin was supposed to be the uh, the ease up the sleeve for the inflation, right? I uh, wouldn't mind picking up some Doge as well when BTC uh, hits this golden pocket. Absolutely. And uh, we're getting uh, just some nice price action. Uh, differentiated. It's, it's, it's nice. It's differentiated on the... Um, this is a nice hit on the, uh, let's just say, on the USDT chart. I uh, love it. It's just very nice. Looking at the downward price action. And I have to say this, guys. It hasn't been easy to juggle. It has not been easy to juggle. You guys know this between BTC USDT and BTC USD. I don't think it's an unintentional. Please listen. I do not think that's an unintentional aspect that's going on. I think you guys will probably agree. Now, the nice part here is that we, while we were trying to maintain this level of support, and I'll give it to the Bulls. Bulls really came in, did a great job. 
here. Just a fantastic job, guys. Was really, really uh, just knocked it out of the park on a few of these hits. Uh, really recapturing that level of support, establishing the interior and the exterior line of support. But some of these hits were just nice, guys. This was nice. 5% to the upside. What was this? This was uh, over 7 almost 8% to the upside. So when we look at this amplitude move to the downside, what we can state is the following. We are literally at the measured amplitude move of the descending triangulation brought down. We have met our target. So to the extent that Bitcoin wants to run and hammer further down, uh, I begin to just question how much can equities really really involve uh you know the price of bitcoin how much how much can bitcoin really be affected by the overall markets and that's just something honestly we're in we're in we're in a realm of, of exploration on that you guys know that it's something of decouples uh it part uh, parts of the week sometimes the uh and i got to tell you guys this last day we uh and the short really fell into place today really started to hammer down you guys know this when we saw differentiation we saw differences on the usdt and usd chart you guys know that we saw the difference on the usd and the usdt chart and that was a circumstance that uh, that preceded just immediately preceded the framework of a real solid move to the downside so in terms of the targets that we have to the upside you betcha we got targets to the upside right without a doubt we've hit several targets today it's been a decent day for uh targeting but there are quite a few targets to the upside i'll say that quite a few targets still to the upside it's going to depend particularly if you will look at and let's see where we're at this is one of the best charts i really like this specific chart this is the four hourly chart um looking at this bear flag if we were to invert this again we did this yesterday but looking at that that is just a sweet flag guys that is a sweet bear flag you guys have got to give it to that that's nice i don't like to talk about uh and shout out to angel my man he's invested in bitcoin at seven dollars and 79 cents uh angel hope you're doing well i don't like to talk too much or uh, revel on the fact that the uh, the price of Bitcoin is going down. I don't like to push it down. That's that's not my ideal, but you have to say that's an incredible formation, technical formation of a bear flag. It's very, very nice, right? Very, very impressive. So looking at that, it's just in terms of a measured move for this, uh, you know, we're, 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 we, we have some... Uh, we have some measuring to do here, right? If we were to look at really this specific flag formation to the downside, things could get additionally interesting here with another move of an additional 22% to the downside, taking off another 5,000 or 6,000 to 20,000 flat, right? If we can get that repeat of the preceding move right to the downside, bam, just technically oriented, that would be a move down to 20 thousand we'd be excited about that we have lower we have lower prices and i'll just tell you as people talk about the floor caving in all these things we have lower lower targets than than just about anybody so you know people can run their mouth about who maybe it's going down in, in a scare session etc i'll let you know we've got some some pretty critically low low value prices guys um 86 the classic 86 percent retracement you guys know that is is right at about uh, I'd say right about that uh, 10 G mark. Okay, so um, looking at uh, looking at the standard framework, we've got the gold of pocket 786, the 86 on the macro, right? So we have 20 uh, 24,000, right? That'd be the 65th percentile. We have the 15,000, we have 10,000, right? The 15 and the 10. Um, 15 gets a lot of attention. If you guys, I've mentioned that to a few guys who kind of randomly invest, and it's interesting to hear them talk. Right, I just let you guys know, like, oh, at 15, oh, I, I think I'd get some at 15. Like, yeah, you bet you'd get some at 15. So um, the, the big point of all this, as we look at a cyclical, right, and VIP, you guys are ahead of the curve. I want to let you guys know, top level of membership, you guys are rocking it. What I want to let you guys know is the following. As you look at a cyclical, what is the key feature here? First of all, we trade. You guys know that. We trade. We love to trade the fat guys. We're having a great time. Great time to hone in your skills or develop your skills. As you look at a cyclical like this, what is the, the key feature here is to, uh, to respect the Fibonacci's, to express the levels of volatility, period. And I remember going to the weekly chart, and this is a, a good uh, function for us because uh, going to this weekly chart and condensing the price action as you would imagine this to be, instead of a instead of a macro chart, right? If you were to, to look at this as a as more of a micro function, right? This is a let's say a micro feature. The more that this were to come down here, the more bullish this starts to look. What do we have? We have an amazing boom move to the upside, right? This move at some point, traders would think on a smaller scale. You guys know this. At some point, this move 
would want to repeat, right? We would want to get into a phase somewhere with some sort of a bullish pattern where this would want to repeat. So to me, and I've said this before, but the more that we can move down, the the, the more bullish this does look. This is the price action on the weekly time frame. So uh, very important for us to uh, just kind of comment on that because uh, that may not be something that you're necessarily hearing. But we focus on the technicals. We focus on the uh, the parameters in terms of uh, in terms of the uh, let's see uh, where we're at now in the price, but the parameters in terms of New York Institute of Finance, the classic TA that's going on in the hedge funds in Wall Street, etc. So looking at this parameter, what I can say right now is that we have met the specific downside target. That's just it. We can, but as a matter of fact, guys, we we have met the target. That's it. I, I would imagine there's quite a few people um, in in a position where they have met their target. Uh, to the extent that we are on the golden pocket, the 61.8, uh, there's a nice coincidence there with the descending triangulation. We've gone a little bit beyond a flat hit at the 61.8, right? And what I'll say right now is uh, this will be the second hit for the uh, for USD, period. We are on the second hit for USD. Very important as we remind everyone because the second hit, I'll tell you guys, typically the expectation of the traders is that the second hit is not as strong. I'll tell you guys, that's the expectation of the traders, is that the second hit is not as strong as the first, okay? That's something that we pay attention to quite a bit because we hit a lot of targets. Just to let you know, we hit quite a few targets. I'm seeing a little bit of a differentiation on the USD and USDT charts, slight, slight differentiation. Um, so to the extent that we have managed to accomplish this specific downside target on both the USDT and the USD chart. We've confirmed that to the extent that we're also on that 26.5. The 26.5 is the golden pocket area. The 24.3 is uh, down to the 24.3. I'm going to say this entire zone. Now, we did have an interesting aspect here today. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about the specific golden pocket, not on the macro. As we talk about this, this is very interesting, guys. Pay attention. As we would talk about the macro feature here on the daily chart, the 61.8 to the 65th, Absolutely. We'll discuss one thing very briefly here. In terms of the more micro considerations, the immediate range considerations, let's take a look at something. Now, on the golden pocket here, please pay, at least please pay attention to this. On the golden pocket here, I'd like to make some sort of a, at least for the purposes of discussion, let's take a look at an, a short analysis at the golden pocket in this micro range. This is the one hourly. Let's compare the golden pocket hit that we had to the golden pocket that we're currently hitting on the macro. Okay, this is the daily from the low to the high. Boom, 61.8 to the 65th. Now, I don't think it's by accident that we just had a nice hit within the last 12 to 24 hours, okay, on this micro range feature. And it's a nice discussion in terms of what the golden pocket is. All right, what is the golden pocket? Because on the low to high, here we go, guys, on the low to high of this range, the golden pocket, and I had laid this out for everybody, saying orders were there. It was a nice hit, guys. That was a nice range to get through. It looks like BTC is pushing down. Nice, nice. Way to go, guys. You're in the money. I know you are. BTC making some money for VIP. Congratulations, guys. Way to go. Way to go, guys. Uh, you much earned, much uh, much respected, much uh, much deserved, guys. Um, in terms of this specific golden pocket hit, what I wanted to do was draw a little bit of an analogy here, because on the Wix low to high, let's look at this. On the Wix low to high, okay, the 61.8 to the 65th. And when you double click this, I want to let you guys know when you double click on your Fibonacci retracement, you're going to need to add in the 65th. You'll need to add in that 65th. You'll also need to add in the 86th. And then I, I make sure that those are the only ones. I cut a video on Twitter today for you guys. I wanted to make sure that you guys uh, knew that. So in terms of the situation and the circumstance, the question becomes this. Well, what, it, what, what really is the golden pocket? It's the 61.8 to the 65th, right? Where in the golden pocket should we hit? Should we structure our orders? That's the big question. As you start dealing with the golden pocket, where should we be structuring our orders? Right? Because it is, is it at the 61.8 or is it the 65th? The institutional framework is between the 65th and the 61.8. There is no easy answer. There is a level that you will look at 
that you'll understand in terms of the the mid-level function that we hit earlier today very important to look at this guys very important looking at this mid-level function that we hit within the last 12 to 24 hours and there is venus venus in the house what's up venus nice to see you very nice to see you we're looking at uh, short o'clock that's what pathfinder said we're at short o'clock without a doubt and in terms of this i want to uh, shout out to venus what is up fire what's going on venus came to trade I want to shout out also to uh, March. March, it was nice chatting with you today. I look forward to getting all those things uh, together this week. And uh, these are for Venus. I want to put targets, rockets, and targets for you. Very important. So what I'm discussing right now is the golden pocket. The golden pocket on this micro range. The 61.8 to the uh, 65th. Why is this relevant? Because we had a mid-level between the 61.8 and the 65th. It's like the market gave a nice little mid-level and this just proves, guys, it's not the 61.8, okay? It's not just the 65th. It's between the 61.8 and the 65th. You see this. The hit was in the middle of the golden pocket. It's very important to discuss that. Why? Why am I, why am I making an issue of this? Guys, because that golden pocket, can we can draw analogy to, and not that there's going to be an overlay. There may be a, a, in everything, including the surprise that we would look forward to, right? But as we would look at the macro, the daily chart, what what do we have in terms of the daily? What do we have? When, let me go ahead and draw this out. We have the macro golden pocket. And the question is, well, where do I put my orders? All right? Is it, and, and people will ask, is the golden pocket, is it the 61.8 or is it the 65th? It is the area between the 61.8 and the 65th. Okay? And that was just proven. It was just proven perfectly by the micro range. But as we look at the expectations for the hit on USDT, um, the first for the first hit on the golden pocket, well, will it hit? Because it's on USDT, we're hitting that 61.8. Yes, we're in the golden pocket, right? Um, to uh, to kind of to reframe here in terms of this micro range again, looking at the golden pocket, we had a hit yesterday that was squarely in the middle of this uh, right between the 61.8 and the 65th. So the entire zone, the answer for us all, okay? Not We don't necessarily like it, right? We like to be more specific. We like to have more specificity, more precision. The golden pocket requires a little bit more of an understanding, okay? It just does. A little bit more of a variance, a little bit more of tolerance for you as a trader to play the 61.8 on the daily guys on the larger time frame that we're into right now golden pocket hit huge huge moment but looking at this have a little bit more flexibility with your trades understand you may need to give a bit more between the 61.8 or the 65th or that you may need to scale in your trades or that you may need to cover the entirety of that uh, i'd say that um uh, that specific uh, area it's just it is what it is it's a difficult uh, there's there's no easy answer to it okay there's not an easy answer you could go into the micro uh, i'd say the the compound core acquisitions you've probably been around for a while you see me go in the and, and draw in fibonacci's with a one through 20 or one through 10 we can go through that it's a little bit more advanced uh, but what i would say is you need to be prepared to operate in the entirety of this space between the 61.8 and the 65th, between the 24,319 and that 26,542. Um, now, where are we right now in terms of price? Let's go back into the micro range here. Let's look at where we are and let's uh, let's see. We, we have hit down into, this is just nice guys because we've been looking at this. The 86 is in the middle. The 86 is in the middle. We we are the 86 crew, aren't we? Um, that was a sweet trade earlier today when it Pathfinder. Huge trade. Boom. We got some nice price action on that 86. I know Anthony killed it. And I want to say on the middle there in front of the Lamborghini, I just threw it there real quickly. I tried to replicate as best I could. Like, Freddie, 450%. Freddie, you got to let me know exactly what's your percentage. Anthony, um, you got to let me know your exact percentage. I put, uh, but top returns, 849%. Anthony. Uh, 500% bill. We got you ball four to five hundred percent. So I'm 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 starting to put these in. I want to make sure you guys are featured like that, and we're going to make this more exciting for you guys in 2022. We're going to spice this up. Make sure that you constantly see your returns, that you have something to compete for. So crack your knuckles out, guys. It's a nice uh, it's a nice approach for uh, just to let everybody know what you're doing, what VIP are up to. We're banking it. Look at uh, look look at this. What are you doing? What are you doing, Anthony? Eight. 
Anthony, 849%. My man, what's up? What is up? What? I, I'm hyped. I have to say I'm hyped about that one, and I'm excited. You know, if I could play a small role in Anthony's trades, I have to. I have to take this role, but a small role, descending triangulation called in that zone of acquisition. Nice, Anthony. Nice eyes, right? Descending triangulation. That was earlier, guys. That was that was where Anthony got in. Defective, right? Symmetrical triangulation. Defective pennant. Descending triangulation. That's where VIP shines. Just that decorum, just that uh, that strength, that know-how in the back. I love it, guys. Way to go, Anthony. That's just rock and roll. It's simple stuff, right? It's simple. It's, it's relatively simple. It's not too complicated. Just uh, buying at support, selling at resistance. This would have been a trader pattern, really. Just short, a descending triangulation. Just pretty simple, right? It, it is. If you read about it in New York Institute of Finance, you'll see it's typically a bearish pattern, right? It's typically a bearish pattern. So, I mean, you could have just shorted when we brought this up in the back and shout out to the VIP. But when we brought this up, the descending triangulation, you could have just shorted. That's what Anthony did. And you see his return. I'm going to go through it again. 849%. Boom. What's up, Anthony? That is the way to rock and roll, my brother. Now, I mean, it's, it's more than that now. It's probably, it's over a thousand. Over 1,000%. That is just sweet. What is up, brother? That's a 10X. Huh? 10X? He gets a 10x in one day, man. Anthony's got problems. I gotta tell you guys, he got problems. He's making money. Hey, way to go, Anthony. So, guys, this is London with Bitcoin Spike. We're looking at the price targets right now. We have completed the downside. You'll notice we are not in fear mode. Where did fear mode go, guys? That's like with the holder crew. That's they went out of business, guys. Those the guys who are afraid of the market. <laughs> uh, you need to change Anthony's to a to a thousand. I will. I will. Uh, we could just call him 10X. What's up, 10X? That's cool, huh? Uh, indeed. And we need to pull him out of the... What are you doing there, Anthony? You're just chilling in the back. He always chills in the back. He's probably back there trading. He's busy with his trades. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. So, in terms of the, the pickup here, we have we have hit the downside, right? We, we have completed this. This is going to be the question. Now, this is the question of the day. This is the good stuff, guys. We're on the golden pocket. What's up? What's up? What's up? Now, Anthony shorted into the golden pocket. What's up, VIP? That's the way to go. Way to go, Anthony. That's awesome, brother. Now, I'm going to short down into it. Short through the golden pocket. That would be historical, brother. That would just be historical. I don't need, I don't think you could do it. I got to tell you, with that trade, I I don't know. I, I, I got to qualify myself. I got to really think about it. But if you were to short through the golden pocket, whoa, whoa. Talk about bragging rights. That would be impressive. Be very impressive. You might have to contend with me. Ooh, you might have to contend with me. I have to pull out some big guns, but I got to tell you, if you were to short through the golden pocket, I got to tell you, you'd have to contend with me. Now, I'm not going to, I haven't talked about that trade yet, but I have to tell you, Anthony, as a shout out between you and me, you'd probably have to contend with me on that one. But I'm going to let you roll with it. I'm going to let you, I want to see what you're going to do with it. That's where VIP is fun, guys. We have a blast. Now, in terms of this, so USDT, BTC, Bitcoin, USDT is for the first time hitting the golden pocket. Having a little bit of fun with Anthony, okay, in the back here. In terms of uh, Anthony, VIP, he's killing it. He's doing a great job. Uh, we love having you guys as VIP. Uh, Bathfinder, love the interaction. Venus, love that you're here. All the guys in the back. Sean, thanks for stopping in. The picture from you and your daughter at, at uh, the movies. It's just the right place to be. You guys know this. What's up? It's a good place. So, and don't push it too much, Anthony. If you're in the green, if you're making money, you decide. You decide, brother. Um, let's look at uh, something just to kind of uh, reinforce a, another pattern. And you guys know, as we talk about getting to our targets, one of the most important things is what, guys? The most important thing that we've developed recently is, do we have a pattern to get to our target? Okay? Is there a pattern to get to our target? I want to reinforce that framework with you guys in terms of, this mid-level, uh, this, is, this is quite a move by Bitcoin. Quite a move, right? Just, if we go from the candle wicks to the lines, take a look at those candle wicks, guys. Because BTC already got aggressive, boom, to the downside. Touching perfectly that 65th, right? So in terms of an equivalent pickup, this becomes interesting, guys, because BTC USD is already hammered down through to the 65th. So there's a lot of orders waiting. There are a lot of orders waiting at the 65th, right? If we were to get a clue, right? Now, a surprise by the exchanges, I would not put that out of 
uh, out of, uh, well, we say reality whatsoever, out of, out of the possibility, realm of possibility. But looking at that, USD, boom, down into the 65th on the macro. Eh? You guys get it now. So this preceding low here is interesting right for the purpose now this was terra fallout this was luna a luna binge right on the market just awful you know just boom, boom boom just really bad stuff here down to the perfect level 65th now in terms of this level of support on the candle wicks you'll see that that would interrupt right that pour down was significant enough really the exchanges reached down too and i won't say the market maker reached down too guys the market maker when i say that it sounds great it really is fanciful to think, you know, the market maker is going to come down, pick you up, and deliver you at a higher price. But guys, it's just not true, okay? You are the market maker. That's what you need to understand. Anytime you set price in the market, you are the market maker. So we can have a good sounding discussion, good feeling discussion about the market maker going down into and picking up your orders. But boom Guys, any, it sounds great right that there's a control function there's someone with a strong hand that's going to come down and pick you up and deliver you to make money right but we're not going to talk about that because it's not the truth the market maker is you you put your orders in at the 65th you are a market maker right you guys know this on the exchanges you get different fees charged for taker for maker when you're a maker in the market when you're a market maker so, yes, we can have those discussions. It's nice to frame things that way. It kind of makes you feel better. There's some ultimate controlling force. There's a market maker. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't want to name any names, but there's a market maker that wants to, to come down and deliver you from a higher price to reach down. No, guys, you're the market maker, okay? You guys know this. It's important to frame this appropriately and correctly. You are the market maker. Anytime you set price, a limit order, right? You're telling the market uh, essentially how you'll participate as a market maker. So very important. want to make sure you guys got that. We still have an upside target of 34,700. My man. Yes, we do. Boom. That's VIP right there. Look at you. You know this. And we will. Uh, <laughs> and the way things go, it's like, well, you're going to hit it at some point. You know, that's just, I mean, this is the, this is the notion as we would look at um, and what a great, uh, what a great circumstance as USDT, uh, US, BTC, USDT tether is hitting for the first time. It's nice. This specific, uh, framework here, as we had precedingly of around the 65,000 on the actual lines here, this was a, a feature where, you know, you were down, just look at this guys. You, you have to realize this. You were down to 28,000 and you had an upside target of 41,000. Literally, guys, you were down to 28,000, 29,000, and you had an upside target. Just to let you guys know, you had an upside target of 13,000 additional dollars, 50% on top of where you were. 50%, 48.79% above. Very important, crucial, crucial stuff, guys. Very, very, uh, very important. So, Yes, we do have some dynamics on this descending wedge on the macro, okay? I want you to pay attention, please, if you kindly would, to the level of support, okay? Level of support on the candle wicks may infer a different pickup, okay? May infer a different level of the golden pocket on the macro getting struck because I'll tell you, yes, this line was breached with the power down into, right? The power down into the 65th. You guys know that. However, we still have a little bit of a level of support that may cut through that specific level. At the same time, I know orders are stacked at that preceding 65th. You guys know that, that golden pocket, that uh, natural growth cyclical number, guys, that to which all, it's like gravity. Honestly, it's, it's like a magnet. It's just prices are compelled to operate at that price, at that uh, percentage discount. So we saw that within this range. I appreciate you guys being here tonight. It seems like the market is down. I want to let you guys know, VIP are not down. We are doing well. We are making money. The, I'm going to tell you guys, the group is doing well is making money. I'm excited on days like today when you guys are, uh, I'll say, beating the market. Because, guy, guys, retail is losing right now. The average investor, the average, I'm going to say the average holder, etc. that narrative and you guys know, I, and back to Doge. Doge, we cut our teeth on a lot of 
uh, on a lot of on quite a bit of uh, of, of crypto with Doge. A lot of us did you know, meeting new people, etc. And uh, I had Doge holders. I was Doge holders on Twitter. It was a big deal, like Doge holders. I got rid of that. Okay, I'm talking about like around the high. I got rid of that. Yeah, not high. Buy. That was like buy for me. I was like, that's it. I'm not going to be the Doge holder guy. No, we call it the top live streaming, right? We just did. Like, nix it, out. You can't hold this stuff. It will burn a hole in your pocket, right? So to the extent that you have a an accumulation uh, of with your, uh, I'd say this, an accumulation with uh, larger amounts of uh, capital and that it's heavier towards the downside to include your 86% retracement, et cetera, I'm always a fan of that. And always, I always, guys, on Doge and every other altcoin have included core acquisitions. Angel is a great example of this. Angel, you know this. I know you're in the background. How are you, Angel? I hope you're doing great, brother. We'd love to hear from you. Um, and to understand below even the 86 on all of the altcoins, literally below the 86 on all the altcoins, even Bitcoin, I'm going to tell you guys, I tell people you better be ready to own this thing. You better like what you're investing in if you're compounding in multiples at lower levels. You're going to, you better be darn sure i tell everybody this that what you're investing in you are willing to own it at less than 90 percent off i tell people this you guys have heard this the vip you guys know this and this is bitcoin i'm talking about period i talk about this like this with every coin you better be willing to own it literally guys at a price significantly less significantly less than the 86 now i haven't been talking like this you know it kind of it, it musters up like that that courage attitude there's something about it like the courage in us whoa to be able to talk about bitcoin at ten thousand. we went through all of that in 2021 here we talked it into the grave until we found the spike boom in the back i'm like i'd rather prefer let's let's focus on trading so we trade right now and in terms of the bottom in terms of where we're headed the best I'm going to say this, the best feature that we have right now is this descending wedge feature to work with right now to trade. If you're into accumulation schedules, we can discuss that in the back. We can, we, we've we discussed that, um, I mean, quite a bit, haven't we, guys? We've, we've discussed that uh, just uh, significantly in the past. We've discussed that. So let's, this is the golden pocket that we're into. This is good news, guys. This is great news. The golden pocket on the macro. What's up? This is good news, guys, and we're streaming. What's up? This is VIP, guys. Way to go. Now, this is a key core acquisition level that, to mind you, during the Terra meltdown, right, the Luna meltdown, during that, what happened, guys? What happened? We actually uh, hit that on the Tether, uh, not on the Tether, on the USD pair, right, on BTC USD, on the dollar pair. We actually came down, boom, and already, already hit the 65th. We already hit the golden pocket. The USDT did not hit it, guys. Did not hit it. So that's an important difference. This is the first time for a lot of tether buyers, for the majority of the market, I'd say, guys, to participate in the golden pocket. This is a big deal. We wanted to get to the golden pocket so bad, guys. I got to tell you, earlier on in 2021, it spoiled everything. Like finding Bitcoin spike, you guys know this, finding the spike here at 29,750 boom that launched this upward deal it kind of spoiled the whole deal we were looking forward to the golden pocket it was right here below we just couldn't get it right we couldn't get it guys so it kind of spoiled the whole thing i'm like dang it we got this thing to launch again let's roll right so it was just and some people thought we were literally crazy literally i would some of them were vips they're not anymore but we were like i'm like this thing's going up it is going up and i i don't say that all the time but it was like we were just launching bulls in the back i mean every bull gift i could find was thrown up in the back in terms of the vip like you know london has lost it he has lost it he's lost it i'm like no this thing is going up this looks bullish we were just riding this little zone here like just what this is going you know and boom 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 and you guys hear me talk about upside targets this was a different level of conviction guys in this zone so yeah i flipped pretty hard from let's hit the golden pocket back then in the 65th around the uh around the uh 65,000 to uh to this uh, launch here but that defines our culture right we just we like to we like to trade and that proved to us i want to let you guys know the velocity in this moment here now a lot of you traded i traded guys a lot of a lot of people did on the way up here right it was great time great um great profits for uh the majority of people who traded that i'll say that um who were involved certainly but the velocity here boom 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 it just i have to tell you guys 
it got us excited about Bitcoin in a different way. Just as a group, we're like, mm, we, you know, we're 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 sold, right? Absolutely, we're we're on target. We're sold, right? We're, let, let's let's go ahead and do this, right? Let's let's do this. Let's trade, right? So we had talked about accumulation just so that you we update everybody. And uh, Pathfinder, appreciate you being in the in the chats. And Venus, anybody else, just chat with us. Let us know what's going on. And uh, just yeah, just to re to reframe things, I'm gonna throw some uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw some uh, Ferraris and a Moon Man. There, that's, uh, that's for you. Uh, that's for you, Pathfinder. Not sure what you want to drive, but we'll, maybe we'll, we'll work on the Ferrari. So in the context right now, the most important thing is we're at the golden pocket. Yes, and the bulls, right? The bulls, it's time for them to engage. Boom, right? Beyond all shadow of a doubt, this is a level for bulls to engage, a level where they already engaged those who were given the opportunity. Okay, and how long ago was that? Let's just uh, let's just let's just walk through this as we're getting some negative price action, 3.39 percent. And it's interesting we're at this key target level. You guys know this. We're at this key target level, and we're just in the red, right? And this is like a sought after, sought after uh, area. What is this? Um, a month ago. This was a month ago that the uh, the price action delved down into that golden pocket. Just extremely. Uh, extremely exciting stuff, guys. I'm excited to be uh, streaming. I'm, I'm excited that you guys are trading. Like, what's up? Uh, who's trading? You guys talk to me. Tell me, uh, Anthony, are you trading right now? Anthony will probably will probably go post something in Twitter in the back here relatively shortly, and he will inform us how he has rocked the world with another trade. Uh, and let me see what we got here. Um, oh, boom, boom, boom. There we go. Now, what's up? You guys want to see some magic here? Look at this. Anthony. Boom. Where is Anthony? Where is Anthony? Where is Anthony? You guys check this out. 1,205%. Boom. Anthony has set the mark. Anthony, congratulations. That is awesome. That is that is just spectacular. Now, I know that you wish you had done it with 100 times the amount of cash that you did it with, right? It's, don't worry about that. I'll tell you, the more that you continue... Guys, 1,200, and guys, he didn't even, he wasn't even trading leverage. Guys, he wasn't even trading leverage. Guys, 1,205%. Boom. Huge trade. Huge short. 125X. Bam. Now you have set the standard. You have set the mark. Way to go, my man. That is the way to go, brother. Way to go. Congratulations to Anthony. Congratulations to anybody who is trading congratulations anthony man that is awesome so excited to see that now let me see what we've got here let me see where i'm at man you've got me thinking because i've got a little short hanging around too i actually like my price now let's see where we're at because i'm looking at some different things 13 20 it's been a profitable day guys i have to tell you without a doubt i will tell you one thing just to tell you, just as a fact, that the drop just since today, just the 3.26%, that move is worth $40,000, period. Just, now you may have to catch it a little higher, You depending upon where you decided to trade or whatnot. But guys, there's an incredible amount of money, and that's, uh, that's nice, 4% capturable from that high to the low. But yeah, guys, there's some serious cash that's being made in the market. Really, 4.57% from the high. To, let's really look at this very quickly, guys. Very, very, very importantly here. 4.63, 4.75. Guys, there's a lot of money being made in the market right now. So it's one thing to shout out. We do mean this, and I mean it, brother. Congratulations, Anthony. We're going to put something up awesome for you, brother. Here. I want to put up rotations with with Jubal and Freddie and, and Anthony and, and Bill and whoever else is it's really hammering through trades, right? Um, there's just an incredible amount of money that's being made on the other side of the market as we're going down. We don't have to fear because, guys, we're booking trades. I mean, I'm and you guys know, 1,205%, uh, that's beautiful. Um, I could just confirm, guys, this this move today is worth, it's it's worth 40 grand. It's it's worth as much as, as you would want to, as you would be willing to, to, to hammer into it, guys, okay? Uh, it's just an imp important that we discuss that in terms of the overall, the overall framework. It's, it's, it's crucial, guys. It's, it's a big, 
Uh, there's a lot of money being made in the market while everyone may be running around acting like the, the sky is falling. We ain't into the sky falling, dude. We're not into that, guys. Um, so we're excited uh, for Anthony. Congratulations, my man. What is up? Um, just huge. Just killing it. Just a lot of fun, isn't it, guys? And uh, I know that other VIP are trading. Um, I'm just excited. Thank you for allowing me to play a small role in. Hey, hey, we have a descending triangulation. I think you scoped those out. I hope you do. I hope all the VIP do. That was earlier today in the back. And I know that you entered. Uh, that was where you entered, wasn't it? Um, Anthony, congratulations on that 1,205% trade. Boom. And where are we at right now? Do we have the potential for a reversal? We're in the golden pocket. So, yes, orders, longs are picking up on USDT. It's a phenomenon of the market right now. i got to tell you guys, it is a phenomenon of the market that we have not yet hit the golden pocket on USDT. Okay, that's a phenomenon of the market. Let's see Pathfinder saying, sure, let's work on the Ferrari. Yo, yo, I'll have some real free time of the week. From now, I'll set myself some goals. Boom. There we go. We'll get that done. So we're currently right now, as we look at this, and Anthony, interesting take, brother. Very, very nice. Looking at this framework here, okay, we're currently right at the 78.6. We have achieved, this is the deal, right? We have achieved this downside. Boom. Okay, we have we are we are just right at that specific uh, threshold, really beyond it. I think we're beyond that threshold as aggressively as we could measure that down to the downside. We're beyond that. We're currently at the seven eight six. If you guys would like to draw your Fibonacci's from the low to the high, and what do I got to tell you guys? You you know what you're doing. This is a good trade group, guys. I I feel like we should do more because I just put in the text at the bottom. Top returns eight hundred forty nine percent. That's going to be uh, one thousand two hundred percent for Anthony. Ready, uh, 450. And remind me, guys, I need to talk and chat with each one of you. Let me know which uh, which specific returns you guys um, did have uh, individually there. And uh, one thing I'll say right now is you guys are making incredible amounts of cash on these shorts, etc. Just be a little bit wise in terms of your level of exposure because you can make 20, 30, 40, 50 grand. You can make 100, 200. You can make a million. Or you can lose 10 grand, 20 grand, 30 grand. Or you can lose 100, 200, or a million. Or 10 million. Guys, you can. You can get caught on the wrong side of a short. I tell people this, that Bitcoin is, is kind of selective about who she allows to short her. I mean that, guys. I mean it. I mean it. I mean it, guys. This has been a beautiful move here. Um, but it's just an area, I'll say, uh, overall. Shorting is a dynamic that people have lost a lot of money on, okay? Just period. Options, shorting. So always be careful. Frame yourself around your technicals, period. And always with that maxim, never never overexpose any higher price. Right now you're going through 100 rounds, etc. But sweet returns. And I keep telling everybody, you're going to have this problem, okay? This is the problem in terms of Anthony. 1,205% in terms of the trade. Now what does that mean? I keep telling you you're going to have a problem, right? What's the problem today, Anthony? Well, you look at your account. Well, I'm, I'm making money. You, I know that is the problem today. You guys, it's like, well, it's impossible not to make money with you know with stuff going on like that, right? You know this. Crack your knuckles out, brother. Way to go, because uh, not everybody understands that. Freddie understands that. He's hit enough you know, positive trades, had enough good days. You have two now. You understand that, Anthony. It's like sometimes you're going to have a problem. That problem is making money, right? And... and for what it's worth, you'll recognize that. It's like, well, hold on. I got to move this money over here. I got to do this over here. That'll be the problem. As you're looking normally at your technical indicators, etc. cetera, uh, Anthony is just proof positive VIP. Boom. Anthony, how long ago? I, I showed you a hedge. What was that? On L Bank, we, we showed you a hedge. Um, we went through that, what was it, like uh, two weeks ago? Three weeks ago? Killing it. Absolutely killing it. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I can confirm that a lot of Guys, a lot of profitable trades again uh, have been executed. The since the restart, that's is guys. It, it's 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 if we look at that entirety of the move, four point seven five percent from the top to the to the uh, uh, essentially the entirety of that candle wick action thus far. Want to let you guys know that move is worth as much as you're willing to structure into it. Yes, um, looking at the fact that we're in the golden pocket right now, right? We are in the golden pocket right now. 
Okay, it's going to be a pickup area for the Bulls. Let's talk about one problem that we have. Why don't we talk about one problem that we have for the for the Bulls picking up with the golden pocket? Okay, let's do this on the – let's go back into the framework. Now, this is on the – let's look at the uh, – this, this is the chart, the USD chart. This is on uh, – let's go to the daily. This is on the daily that I have this laid out in terms of this nice, nice flag. I want to invert this just so you guys can see it. That's a sweet bull flag, isn't it? Everybody wants to trade that. Level of support, level of resistance, boom, boom, right? Very nicely laid out, guys. Now, any potential restriction? Of course, it's inverted. You guys know that. Of course, that's inverted. As we look at any specific level of preceding support, that has that is capitulated. But as we look at the amplitude move down, it's a significant amplitude uh, move, move downward, guys. And that four hourly, do you guys see how nicely that's laid out? That's really impressive, guys really really super impressive in terms of that move to the downside look how clean that is guys that's sweet guys that's a nice nice pattern that's a nice bear flag boom four hourly btc usd so yes i'm saying that the target for this move would be an additional five plus grand an additional 20 percent down just looking at the pattern just following following through with the specific bear flag formation is what it is. Very uh, impressive patterning going on. Now, essentially, that target to the downside be right at 20 Gs, okay? Right at 20 grand in terms of the price action. What do we have in the, as, as kind of an obstacle, an operating obstacle right now, would be level of support, level of resistance on the four hourly. We can go to the daily as well. But the notion that we're in this descending wedge. Now, descending wedges have not wanted to hold. You guys know that. On the daily, on the actual lines if we tighten things up on the daily on the lines if we really get tight on the specific on the specific lines okay on the daily and you can go to the candle wicks the candle wicks will expand this feature quite well for you in terms of this level of support being that feature okay we're going to head into that we're i'm going to say we're, we are heading into that right now if we haven't already struck it let's look at this level of support differentiated a little bit from those lines quite significantly but potentially offering an additional level within the golden pocket to act as a support yes it's been breached by the pour down from the the luna situation right that everything just fell uh fell apart so looking at that 65th hit 65th percentile retracement right we did breach the level of support on the candle wicks and boom we have that as a potential pickup that looks like it's coinciding uh, nearly nearly positively well with the depending upon when we would hit it guys it's close to that 86 close to that classic 86 on the fibonacci's on this tighter range function however looking at the framework of this specific bullish quote unquote generally bullish feature we have failed so many and this is what's nice about the work we've been doing with the targeting, etc. As we look at this, guys, you are so prepared for this specific wedge function to potentially fail to the downside like nobody's business. How many wedges have you guys traded in VIP? So many, right? And you understand the benefit of a failed wedge, right? I mean, look at the benefit of a failed wedge. Boom. Nice move. Wham. Guys, quite a few uh, benefits. You guys have seen them consistently, right? So we have upside targets now we have upside wedges. What this is telling us at some point there was an agreement, right? There's some agreement that was there between the buyers and the sellers. It's almost like a, um, it's almost like I thought of this. If we're building a road, right? Some like some something like we're building a road, we're constructing something, and we have on the map we designated engineers, etc. And there's a street, there's an intersection, and it's almost like at some point, yes, there there is an incentive or there's some sort of between the buyers and the sellers. Buyers on support, sellers on resistance. This apex feature, it's almost like an intersection, almost like a road that's that's paved. And at some point, it's like, yes, someone's going to want to travel back and going to need to pass through that intersection. You guys know that. It's difficult, uh, and it, just generally, we can definitely abandon these. They can, they can go for months or potentially years, okay, without being retouched. As we look at the ascending wedge in this zone, right almost concurrent with that golden pocket ascending wedge to start off the entirety of the move for bitcoin so when we when we see them fulfilled in terms of kind of that intersection that that road that is laid out that is paved right 
in terms of the agreement between the buyers and the sellers, right? It's on the map, right? The coordinates are known. That's where we're at with this upside target here. Is it abandoned? It's going to be there, guys. It's going to be there. If you looked at this specific zone in here, this was a, a hefty fallout. Everyone was convinced we're going down below at that 29,750 where we where we caught that spike in the back ascending triangle boom to the upside that was a big move but people had forgotten about this i'll tell you nobody was paying attention nobody was paying attention to this you guys will remember in this zone you guys will remember this you're like well london's always talking about wedges i wonder why that is right you guys know this it's like maybe there's too much talk about wedges you will review my twitter you will review my twitter and you will find, and you guys can look at this, you will find that the low here, I demonstrated saying I see something really big on the weekly chart with a constriction between buyers and sellers. Buyers on a support, sellers on a level of resistance. And this specific feature right here, literally, guys, at was that 29,000, it was, it was sub 29,000 in terms of this feature, boom, to the upside. So. That was a very important retrace and a very important pattern then. So we've been focusing on wedges quite a bit. I'm very, uh, we're very involved in uh, in uh, in trading, which is R, and with the group, et cetera, we spend a lot of time uh, with you guys. It's just imp important for us. So looking at the uh, pour down, and I say we, me, all of you guys, uh, looking at the uh, pour down function here, this level of support on this uh, channel function here has failed. I want to shout out one more time to, uh, to Anthony, 1,205%. That's a trade from today. Boom. From this area here that we posted in the back, this specific descending triangulation. Correct me uh, if I'm wrong. That's right at 28,069. 28,069. This is at 28,148. Boom. Right at that defective, that 28,148, right in this zone, wasn't it? Very nicely done as we were talking about this in the back. Boom. Very nice. As we were discussing this rising wedge, you were on, and this is excellent, Anthony, you were on the rising wedge, boom, typically a bearish pattern with the indicated descending triangulation there in red, boom. And you'll see exactly, that's the trade just from today, guys. Just from, I'll say within the last 24 hours, look at this. Guys, descending triangulation with that pennant, the rising wedge, and that's what it took, uh, that's what it took, pardon me. That was it, guys, boom, bam, to the downside. Beautifully well done. That wedge just played, kept playing. What a what a trade. What a great trade. So as we're looking at additional price action to the downside, let's just look into, guys, let's look at that 786. Now we're in the golden pocket, guys. Remember that. We're in the golden pocket. However, um, do we have, we have the hit on the 786 occurring right now. We have the golden pocket occurring right now. What we're going to get into is that 86. The 86, if we can hit the 86, now we're within the macro, guys, please pay attention to this. We are within the macro feature, okay? We're within the macro targets right now. Understand the low to the high, ground zero to 69,000. We are at the golden pocket right now, the 61.8 to the 65th percent retracement, hugely important. As we dig down into that, we have another low to a high, an expression, okay? We have an expression of a range that we're targeting within this specific, uh, within this specific area uh, just within that golden pocket. So the next hit down would be the classic 86, right? The classic 86, we have powered through the 786 and we're heading into that 86. I'm gonna bring up on a side screen right now, the futures for, uh, the futures for, the equities are down uh, relatively significantly. Let me make sure that this is an updated view so I can update you guys on the futures. Um, I go to the CNBC website, NASDAQ futures down more than 2%. NASDAQ futures down more than 2%. That's the that's the uh, that's what you want to look at typically is NASDAQ. That's the one, guys. So BTC down 4%. Huge, huge day, guys, just since reset. Down 4%. Don't jump the gun if you're not in a trade. Guys, we've met the target from the descending triangulation to the downside, but she's continuing to pour down. We can dig into the lower time frames. Okay, we can dig into these lower time frames, but it's just a controlled, uh, she's in a controlled slide. I think that's what you say when you when you, we have a uh, what is that guys? We have a uh, we have a an air uh, an air uh, airplane that does not want to cooperate in terms of landing, etc. It's like she's in a controlled slide, right? I think that's exactly what's going on with Bitcoin. We're not worried because VIP are shorting. 
Congratulations, guys. What's up? But yes, Bitcoin has achieved status of being in a controlled slide. Whatever. I mean, this is just, it's not a wreck. It's not awful. It's fine. Everyone's going to survive, but she is in a controlled slide. So picking up orders at that 25,128 would be likely. Okay. That's going to be something that traders are going to want to trade. Let's look at the um, specific. Uh, we're really in a, in a position now. I don't see anything else to catch us before that 86. I just don't unless there's just an off chance that, I mean, as we look at this, guys, it's an off chance that she wants to snap back. Uh, but uh, there's just nothing really in the way, right? Is, is there anything else that you guys can, can determine? Technically, it's just it's a, it's a free zone here between that, uh, that uh, 786 and the, uh, and the 86, right? So uh, pushing down uh, while she does that is just, uh, I just see her, uh, there's nothing technically to stop her. Right, just in terms of um, maybe she could make an off. Um, I don't know. Maybe a, she said twenty-five thousand five hundred. Maybe that's a key figure people have structured in twenty-five thousand five hundred. But I, 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 guys, there's nothing technically uh, there unless that's just a kind of a round psychological feature. Um, and I'm just saying that, guys, very importantly to look at. You know, is there a, a trade in play right now for an additional one point eight one percent? We have to look at that. Is there an additional trade in play for a 1.81%? Um, and, you know, just getting from, I can I can dial that in a little bit more, but that's important. You guys know this is important uh, trading. 1.69% measured, confirmed. Okay, would be that next level down, that 86. That's on the 30 minute. Let's take a look at the five minute and see how we have capitulated beyond that level. And it's just been, that golden pocket is just all over the screen. Just to let you guys know, London with Bitcoin Spike, we're in the golden pocket on the macro. We're excited about being in the golden pocket. I'm excited for VIP. Boom, 1,200%. I will cut a specific video so we will memorialize this specific event for you, Anthony. I'm so excited, brother. That's just, it just, you rock and roll, bro. That's, that's the way to do it. Have some fun. Book some trades. Have a good weekend, a VIP weekend. What is up? What is up? What is up? Um, just, uh, just, just awesome. Uh, California, from California, he is. Um, so we can dig into the lower time frames. We can start looking. Is there a potential for a reversal? We had in this, uh, and this is the preceding zone. This was that nice hit at the golden pocket before that descending triangulation laid waste to the notion of any kind of real recovery. Um, what I would say right now is, guys, uh, Anthony, you, you, you killed your short, huh? You killed that short. We're, we're not too far off of that 786 as we would look at a potential for any kind of interaction whatsoever on that 786. Uh, we're just close to the 86. I mean, this is one of those situations. You're going to pull the trigger. You're going to hit the 86 on a short or you're in a short. If you pulled the trigger on the 786, you did not get, in terms of a long, you didn't get much of a hit. I'll just tell you, you did not get much of a hit. And that is just the, uh, that is the function that uh, BTC has been doing for the longs. It is just the, it, guys, it's, it's been difficult if you've been trying to go long. If you have gotten with the program and gone short, you've made tremendous returns. Congratulations to the VIP who have made tremendous returns. Um, and literally, it's just been, uh, it's been relatively automatic. If you're not accustomed to shorting, I recommend that you spend more time in the back of the VIP and that you uh, let me know such and in and, and the context of what we're doing this year, I'll make sure to interact with you personally, okay? And uh, we'll make sure that you understand. It's just like selling, right? You sell short, right? If the price is going to go down, you sell short. Very simple. That's the rationale, right? You would buy low or long low. You would sell short, uh, right? Or you sell high or short short high, right? You would, you would buy or long at support, right? You would sell or short at resistance. Same, just interchange sell or short. Will make something uh, as it would would make uh, things um, understandable for someone who doesn't have a concept of shorts. What's a short? It's a sale. That's what it is. It's you selling into the market. Okay. So uh, we're happy. We're VIP. We're this is London with Bitcoin spike. Uh, this is one of those circumstances where you know we wanted the bulls to to conquer up at the top of the ascending triangulation. They didn't have it, so we have flipped to the bearish patterns. Just very easy. Not a big deal. But we did have such a sweet looking ascending triangulation. Boom. That was nice, guys. Very, very nice. Look at that flat top ascending line of support. It pushed a bit, didn't it? When I say push, it stretched out, right? 
but we had a nice pattern framework. And I got to say, huh? The Bulls just didn't come through. It was one of those deals. Bulls did not come through. As I'm reminding the Bulls about that, it looks like they're trying to push up a little bit here. Let's uh, dig into the lower time frames and take a little bit of a look. And we'd like to get into the micro uh, features here to see essentially what could be occurring on these lower time frames, right? As you're looking at a specific short to enter, always be cognizant, always be cognizant of the lower time frames, essentially what you're looking at. I have the gold all over the screen because uh, indeed, this is the golden pocket. So this is the hit on the golden pocket. And I just want to make sure that you guys are fully aware of that hit. What an interesting ideal to be looking at the golden pocket hit amidst, guys, amidst just the severe, severe toll that equities are taking on the entirety of uh, really uh, the industry, right? The financial industry right now uh, to include Bitcoin. Bitcoin's a part of the financial industry. Uh, so to the extent that, that uh, that is part of the uh, framework that we are kind of suffering to in terms of the price, uh, the price level, but not the price action, certainly. Um, but that's the framework. There's a lot of fallout in the financial industry. Uh, Bitcoin is, is part of the financial industry. now. That's part of the framework of uh, the financial landscape. And uh, as, as hard as it's interesting, because as hard as Bitcoin has fought and you know, the people who are pushing Bitcoin, as as hard as people have fought to get into the mainstay industrialized, uh, or I say mainstay of, of the mainstay uh, componentry of the financial um, uh, industry, right? They, there's been a big push to get uh, Bitcoin into the mainstay of the financial industry. You see what has happened uh, in terms of the fallout with the equities, etc. In terms of even uh, potentially losing its uh, its allure with um, with the inflationary. Uh, guys, the inflationary argument, that's a big deal. Now, over time, Bitcoin has killed it. Bitcoin has has dusted the other uh, financial uh, investments, right? It's, it's, just, it's come to the forefront as the leader. Uh, we're excited about that. A nice discount on the leader is fine. Additional volatility on the leader is fine. We're looking forward uh, to that. So in terms of the price action, of course, we would love to see just voracious, solid, price action to the point, uh, to the destination, to the target. What we're looking at right now in terms of targets, as I state that, are the Fibonacci's, okay? That's where I'm uh, referring to right now, or that's what I'm referring to right now. In terms of the classic 86, this is a zone, this is a, uh, a zone that's crafted out in yellow, the golden pocket. You guys are familiar with that. But within that zone, we have the 786 and the 86. It's nice because we have some micro features to target within that macro uh, targeting feature, right? Within that macro golden pocket, right? This macro function on the, uh, let's just go to the daily. It's just nice because we, we, we might as well recognize that and uh, be appreciative of it, right? That we would have in the entirety of the chart, the golden pocket that we do have specific uh, some uh, kind of micro features to work with in terms of some levels that we would like to see uh, get hit within that, even on this micro range. Very nice. Traders are trading. So we may be picking up just a touch in and around, uh, just a touch. If anybody's trying to go long, do be cautious. It's a lot of negative pressure on the market right now. The 786 has not picked up. We uh, has not picked up, pardon. And we don't have a real, real, uh, I'd say a real solid drive um, in terms of um, uh, any, I'd say drive to the upside from uh, from any contact thus far into the golden pocket. So that may be another question. It's like, well, how long could we spend in the golden pocket on the macro? Very important question, guys. We could, as we look at this, how long could we spend in the, in the golden pocket before we could get a hit? Now, first of all, BTC USD has already hit the golden pocket. You guys know that. That was a that was a one night deal. Boom. That was huge. That was a nice return on BTC USD. You guys remember that? Bam. 30%. And guys, I don't understand people who get together and aren't talking about uh, returns like 20 or 30% of the market. I don't, I don't, I don't get it guys. In terms of people just want to talk lower this and that, you got to talk about trading, but let's bring up it in context. This specific feature here, right? The preceding framework of the 50% retracement. That 50%, what a zone to trade. What a zone to trade. Now, this is the difference, guys. 
as you look at uh, VIP, we're into trading. We want to trade, right? We're constantly into pattern identification, target assessment, et cetera, constantly, guys, um, on the macro, on the micro. And as we would look at this, just look at the preceding zone here. Remind yourselves that 50% retracement, right? The 50 on the macro. Remember, guys, this took a while. This took a real long while. Then it even went down further to a target that we had below the 50. That was the best thing. We had a target below the 50. Boom. Yeah, what's up, guys? So looking at the framework here, this is on the four hourly chart. How long were we involved on the 50%? 50, 5-0, guys. 50% retracement. That was two days and eight hours. Two days and eight hours to get up off of that the specific, look at that, guys, to get up off of the specific 50% retracement. And the max out was, yeah, about 40%, 40% maxed over 17 days. Whew, that's a move, guys. That is a move. So looking at the uh, framework here, it looks like we are trying to pick up just a touch on into that. What are the odds? Right into that 7, 8, 6. You see that candle just disappear. Let's get into the framework. Let's go into uh where we're trying to round into but yeah we have recovered back into the 786 interesting as you look at the candle framework now let's go to that four hourly looks um looks interesting huh we have picked up price up and above make it a hit on that 786 that would be a nice level i'd like to see both of the 786 and potentially even that 86 particularly that 86 hit we spend so much time with the 86 so uh shout out to the vip i hope you guys are doing well we are in the framework of the golden pocket on the macro i'll go ahead and draw i hate to start drawing any kind of a reversal but on the golden pocket certainly we're going to draw uh the potential here for a reversal we have this line of resistance we'd like to get up and over if the bulls can pop this then we'd like to confirm back on this prior level of resistance to support bam to move to the upside this is the uh framework that we look at in terms of assessing any type of a potential reversal will go from the five minute down to potentially the one minute. Make sure that we're still beyond this level of resistance. There we go. Looks like the bulls have, have mustered up enough, uh, enough energy here, enough buying power demand to pop this first level of resistance. It would be the first potentially of two, two additional, uh, two additional levels of resistance if it were to follow classic TA. Okay, anytime you see this, I'll let you guys know anytime that you see this, be prepared for a potential reversal. There's a lot of pressure on Bitcoin right now. You guys know this, a lot of pressure on Bitcoin right now in terms of the uh, equities, in terms of, guys, the discussion in terms of, like, was it, 40-year high? And uh, we covered that in the back, guys, 40-year high in terms of inflation. And wherever you're at in the world, just understand it's, you know, I understand that uh, inflation is a worldwide dynamic um, we can just attest to the fact that here it is, <clears throat> it's getting pretty bad. There's quite a bit of pressure, um, on, uh, on individuals, guys, on individuals in terms of their real ability to, uh, to survive at some level. You, we're getting into discussions like that and they're real discussions just so that you guys know that. So do we have an equivalent, uh, flat top? We're going to look at this, but it's just the, uh, standard of living as people living as people, uh, getting into the framework of being able to, uh, you know, or needing to choose between like daycare and uh, this is a very interesting uh, uh, 15 second here, but in between like daycare or, um, you know, uh, other other essentials or or whatnot. And that those aren't good discussions to, to be forced to, to, to have. Right. Um, people limiting. Uh, it's just it's, it's interesting, isn't it? Like uh, we were shut down from office work for a while. Right. Office uh the offices were closed, etc., and a lot of people stopped going to the offices, and and uh, just weird stuff, guys, has been going on. But um, uh, I guess necessary to the extent that people are involved in determining what all of that is necessary. I will say that. Um, uh, that's it on that on that discussion. Flat top is what we're looking for, uh, and I guess uh, flat top is what we're looking for in terms of a reversal potential. Here, do we have a flat top? Always hunting for a flat top. Why is that? Because they're expressive of the presence of buyers. Bottom line, as you would look at the presence of buyers, right, you would see that the buyers would take at a preceding level of resistance, preceding hit, buyers would take boom right at it. This is not a perfect flat top. It is not, um, it's close, but we're looking for a perfect flat top. 
Okay, to the extent that we uh, see this level of resistance across the top here on the 15 second is an interesting look. Um, it's going to be differentiated on the 15 seconds. You're going to get a better look at the uh, specific price action here. Level of resistance, boom, trying to flip that into a level of support as we speak. Now, uh, we would like to see a trajectory up and above, well up and above this specific level here. Um, to the extent that uh, you guys are familiar with like a fan feature, we've seen a few of them play uh, not strongly to the upside. They have been difficult, but we would like to see uh, we would need to see for a reversal. And it would be nice to see one from the golden pocket. I think you guys could uh, could agree with that. It would be nice to see some sort of a recovery. We're down 3.3% to 25,731. It would be nice to see some sort of a recovery. The issue that we're going to be looking at here in terms of the formation, if she decides to take off here, and actually that'd be a decent channel formation. Always looking at, and pro, um, guys, I'm always trying to forecast whether or not we'd be in a channel or whether or not we'd be in a wedge, okay? Whether or not we'd be in something that could be considered to be a bullish channel and fit the framework of an Elliott Wave formation, or whether or not we'd be in something that is constricting, wherein buyers and sellers would come to the, uh, let's say, a narrowing agreement in terms of the price and run out of energy that should essentially go to the downside. Right, so I'm always projecting. As soon as I see price go up, immediately I'm scoping in. I'm seeing is there any sort of restriction in that agreement? Right, is there any sort of between the operation of the buyers on support, sellers on resistance? I'm always looking for. I'm always looking for any demonstration of a narrowing, okay, or even a broadening. But we're going to be looking for any narrowing that would uh, indicate any kind of a bearish feature or an inability for the buyers to typically be able to hold that line so um this appears to be in the framework now of a of a channel formation which is good right this is just the diagnostics that we do go through within the channel formation within that channel formation we're going to be looking at uh add to dynamics to include uh, let's talk about this very important anytime that we have a move down and we're trying to hold at least even an implied level of support you guys know we may run into classic feature would be a bear flag, right? So that's something we'll typically have to deal with anytime we're along a level of support, even implied support. Anytime we're along a level of support, you guys know we will get into on different time frames something that may look or feel like a bear flag when in reality we're trying to hold support. So I'll let you guys look at those different time frames. Um, it'll be more evident on some more than others. In terms of this, we have some differentiation noted on the 15 second, definitely from the three minute or the one minute. It's just important technicals right now because we're looking at the golden pocket. This is the framework of the golden pocket. And uh, shout out to Jubal. Jubal, what's up, my man? Uh, Jubal was around uh, for the first hit on the golden pocket. And that was uh, that was a nice uh, that, that was nice, right? We we were definitely in the back, going through quite a, a few of the technicals, and it was just uh, surprising. And I'm always, guys, immediately switching to what's the next pattern development here, right? We have a descending wedge formation, descending wedge, typically a bullish feature. However, in a market environment like this, you really can't count on and say without a doubt this will be a bullish feature. And if you trade wedges a lot, you know they are tricky, right? Um, uh, to the extent that they fit in a framework of additional uh, additional pattern formations that you're going through, just understand that uh, entering in heavily on a wedge, listen please, entering in heavily on a wedge breakout here is a difficult move, period. Very difficult move, okay? Uh, to the extent that we're in a bearish or bullish environment, if it's extraordinarily bullish, I'll tell you, extraordinarily bullish, sometimes you'll get that screaming move to the upside. Sometimes you'll get that consolidation and bam, move to the upside, okay? To the extent that the majority of the time it's a slight move up. Sometimes it's a double top, etc. Pay attention to the wedges. Pay attention to your level of exposure and trade 50 to 100 of them. Trade 200 of them. Get to the point where you understand the dynamics. Where are the sweet spots of a wedge? Where's the best part to encounter a, um, a, a highly profitable trade? Right now, we are engaged on, the uh, market's engaged on Fibonacci's right at the 50% retracement. We've had one hit, okay, the 60, 
uh, 1.8 to the 60 bit, this golden pocket would be a golden pocket within the golden pocket, right? So to the extent that we're looking, uh, looking at the framework of an attempt here to hold this level, let's just zoom back out just a touch and look at what we're trying to hold right now is this 786. Let's go to the hourly, if I can pull these features in. Yeah, the 786 here on this micro range from the low to the high, right? On the candle wicks, we're looking at the 786 to hold or the 86 is parked below. Orders exist, I guarantee, guys, at the 65th, at that 24,300 uh, plus or minus. Orders exist at that level. I'll tell you guys that without a doubt. And the full completion, this uh, 23,923. If you guys are trading, I'm excited. I know the price has been down. We're not down. This is London with Bitcoin Spike. We're very excited. I know it's starting to get late and people have things to do tomorrow. That's kind of a reality. Anytime we start streaming, and it's a little bit later. But we're enjoying going through the dynamics. That uh, it's just nice, guys. We have the. Uh, I mean, think about it, guys. We have the. We have internal components, and this is just this is perfect. You guys have to agree. Now understand this. Um, it would have been nice to hit an equivalent USDT USD chart earlier on. I'm glad that at least USD hit BTC USD hit the golden pocket because. We have some internal comp componentry, the 786 and the 86, that we wouldn't otherwise have. Very important. And what a benefit to the traders as we look at this, because typically we're between the 61.8 and the 65th. It's just a blind, uh, more or less a blind process, unless you're scaling in. You can put a strategy to it without a doubt. Core acquisitions within the golden pocket. Hit the 61.8, hit the 65th, have a mid-level function as well, and then try and get a bargain, right? You could have a uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, all right? You could have a 1, 2, 3, 4 compounding down with heavier, uh, heavier cash to the downside, right? And stop loss underneath once you've entered your shorts or entered <laughs> once you enter your shorts, right? Put that ahead of the uh, that card ahead of the uh, of the horse, right? But um, if that were to capitulate thereafter, you go into your shorts. But uh, <laughs> just quicker than I can think, not to say that I just said it. Sorry. But as you would talk about that, a triple or a quadruple approach with maybe a, a triple tier approach, a top level sixty one point eight mid level lower level uh, 65th and thereafter maybe a discount level with yeah and you need to you need to uh, uh there's a lot of people looking at that right now in terms of shorts so um maybe a bit of a faux pas looking at the uh looking at the framework here we do have that internal component uh, componentry is nice to have that because normally we don't have that in the golden pocket seeing a little bit of positive price action let's see where we're at see if we can get uh kind of up and out there we go that's a decent hit um, we got a flat top. Let's take a look at this in terms of this specific, um, and that's nice, guys. That's that's a nice uh, that's nicely done. Now, did we dig down into the golden pocket? We almost did. If you guys remember that, it looked like we were digging down into the golden pocket. We got lower than this level of support. You guys saw that breach down there. Looking into the framework, that's a decent hit. Although it's 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 uh, it does uh, that does match up relatively well. If you guys will. Will agree that matches up relatively well with the notion that you should be careful going in very heavily right here, right on any descending wedge. Yes, it's bullish, but if you pound hammer into these right here, you'll find yourself in this zone frequently. Okay, you just will. Um, double top potential, right? They'll like to uh, formulate a double top, and it just doesn't always mean a descending wedge means we're going up. Just mind yourselves uh, of that uh, of that fact. So I know you guys trade a lot, but just 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 pay attention to those. Anyone who may, may be new in the group, etc., or in a round, we'll just uh, ask that you uh, that you uh, start to trade these and really realize what they're capable of. Let's take a look. Do we have the making of an ascending triangulation? I want to say we needed more of a flat top. However, I will bring this up for the purposes of review and discussion and trading. We will get into this. Can the bulls pull off an ascending triangulation? They have not been able to pull one off for a while, right? So this would be a really star-studded ascending triangulation. We would love to see this. And shout out to the VIP. You guys have had a great trade weekend. Again, we are at an angle here. Uh, this is not a an orthodox uh, ascending triangulation if it chooses to play, right? I'll just let you guys know that's not an, orth an orthodox ascending triangulation. We would want a flat top. To the extent that the technicals become messy, that there's some external pressures on the market with the equities, etc., and we're just in a bit of a, I don't, we don't want to get sloppy with the technicals. So, um, in terms of a strong entry, 
uh, based on, I'll say this, based on an ascending triangulation, uh, this would fail the classic definition of an ascending triangulation. It just would. And this area in here essentially would cause that to fail. Now, you could get into a, a hybrid approach and look at it. Well, if it's not an ascending triangulation, uh, is it a symmetrical triangulation with defects? Is it a um, some sort of a wedge, etc.? What I would say is, um, to the extent that it, it has defects, if you're looking for strong entries, and I say I said I said to this last stream, some people will only trade a textbook perfect pattern. That's it. Some people will only trade a textbook perfect pattern. Those people do considerably better when you look at their look at their. Uh, I say their profitability or their their uh, their hit their hit rate, right? In terms of their success rate on their trades, they only trade things that look like a textbook perfect pattern, right? This is not a textbook perfect pattern, right? And to the extent that you don't want to miss out on something, guys, next is very easy. Shout out again to Anthony, one thousand two hundred and five percent just today. That's a trade just today. It was a solid frameworked pattern that came into. Uh, play it was a top and he nailed it boom uh, very uh, much like uh, it is very much like uh, Anthony to do that and uh, very much like VIP to have a great trader like that so in terms of this specific move to the upside we're beyond that 786 it's a little complicated we're trying to put some uh, some sort of a bullish uh, design uh, together here I can float through the time frames we could come up with something in terms of just a solid heavy hitting entry. I'll tell you, if you're trading leverage, Bitcoin may be after you. I'll tell you, if you're trading leverage, the exchanges may be after you. If you're looking for that next 100x entry, that next, right, long or short, where is it? I mean, when you see a hybrid pattern like this, it's like, come on. I mean, we're in the golden pocket, right? You know, we're we're already off below. We're at a, we're at a feature that is below the, uh, you know, NASDAQ's off a couple of percent in terms of the, uh, the futures, etc. Uh, so, what's up with the you know the wild patterning here? Well, what's up with this? We would say, what what's going on with the wild patterning? Well, maybe the exchanges are making it just a touch difficult on the individuals who would be uh, who would be just <laughs> vicious after their next uh, one thousand two hundred and five percent trade. Right? They know they know what you're up to, guys. They, they I guarantee you they know what you're up to. So, look at the framework we had that descending wedge formation here. I'm trying to come up with something a bit bullish. We have this expansion, okay? To the extent that the expansion wants to play, let's go ahead and look at this. But the uh, the expansion is not necessarily a bullish feature. That's not necessarily something that we would look at and say, yes, classical design, we're looking for a move to the upside. They can move to the upside. Again, is it that classic, uh, the classic formation that you're that you're accustomed to? No, it is not, okay? That, that, you, would, that you would say that um, the top tier trader only trades uh, textbook pattern moves. Well, this would not be a textbook pattern move, that expansion feature. Okay, in terms of the move to the upside that we have with this expanding, uh, the expanding, uh, I'd say the, just the expansion there in terms of that uh, expanding leading wedge there. We can try and catch it. This is just the diagnostics I do very quickly on the fly, right, when I'm, uh, when I'm trading. This ascending line of support, descending line of resistance, looks like a nice uh, triangulation indicated and uh, to the extent that that is uh, probably the best feature that we're looking at right now to come off of a very imperfectly designed, uh, just uh, buyers not necessarily really present, right? Buyers not coming up and fulfilling that preceding high with a take at that level would have been nice, but this red portion here represents what we could have had with a flat top resistance and an ascending line of support. And it looks like uh, uh, buyers... Uh, exiting the picture here just a touch. Um, so going down into that golden pocket, nice, uh, nice, nice hit at the golden pocket. If you guys are looking at um, the framework here that we had brought up earlier, this specific uh, expanding, I'd say expanding wedge or expanding diagonal now comes more into play with a head down into uh, a notion down into that seven, eight, six. Difficult patterning for the bulls. If you've gone long, if you decided to. Uh, just uh, hammer into an imperfect ascending uh, ascending triangulation. It just has been difficult for the bulls. And it may continue to be difficult as we look at this, guys. It may continue to be difficult for the bulls for some uh, period of time. All right? It just, it just may be, as a matter of fact. We also failed an inverse head and shoulders here. 
right? You guys can see that with the left shoulder, the head, and the right shoulder. You can clearly see that denoted. So that would have been a nice reversal feature. And what do we say, guys? This is London with Bitcoin Spike. Very excited about the VIP. I want to shout out to Anthony again. 1,205% on a short. Boom. We were covering this in the back, looking at a descending triangulation, and boom. Anthony picks up on the technicals. He applies the standards of uh, guys, standards of, of technical analysis, and that's just an incredible move. One thousand two hundred and five percent. He is the uh, he's the star of the show, guys. Period. You get a trade like that, you're you are you are the feature. You're you're what's up. Way to go, Anthony. Congratulations. Anyone who's not with a trade group, or if you're with a different trade group, guys, if you want to be with the best, you uh, join up with us. Um, and if you're just learning how to trade, I want to encourage you. Um, Anthony, I set Anthony up with his first hedge trade, first futures hedge trade three weeks ago. And that's a that's a 1,200% uh, gain after three weeks. Boom. Now, he's been trading. He's been VIP for a while, right? That's one advantage that he'll have, I think, for a long time, guys, is the fact that he's been VIP for a very long time. Right, and that's just uh, that's important, uh, Anthony. It's just a, a feather in, your, in in everybody's cap. It's just cool, man. It's just you're you're rocking and rolling, and you're having fun. And I I told you you'll have a problem at some point. You'll be making money. That is a problem because <laughs> people may not be accustomed to it in trading. I know you've done well already, Anthony, but a lot of people aren't aren't really accustomed to that. It's like, well, I you know, um, some people have a difficulty with um with trading overall. And I'll just tell you guys, it's not something you can't do. You can trade. You can learn to trade, okay? You just have to apply the fundamentals of technical analysis. If you're not applying the fundamentals of technical analysis, then you're going to have some difficulties. I'll just tell you guys that. Let's look at a little bit of the pattern transition here. In terms of uh, this specific feature, we're getting down to the 786, down into the 86. We're in the golden pocket. Just to review, just to touch here, guys. We're in the golden pocket on the macro Okay, going to the daily feature here. Very important. Glad to be streaming. We were around for the hit at the 50%. You guys know that. Boom, that 50%. Smash the like button for me if you could, guys. Try and help get this video out to other people because we streamed for the 50%, right? We're streaming for the golden pocket. Very important because it's the first hit on the golden pocket. I want to make sure that people know that. First hit on the golden pocket and, guys, for the USDT, uh, BTC USDT. So very, very important. What do we got? Uh, Frankie. Um, <laughs> there we go. Frankie saying, give me that problem, please. Well, Frankie, my man, 1,205%. Frankie, we got a deal. We got to put you on 100 rounds. Well, I got to put you on 100 rounds, Frankie. My man, Frankie. What's up, brother? I like that. Frankie, right when you uh, right when you pop up, it's like the screen turned to green. My man, what's up, brother? Hope you're doing well. Frankie, VIP in the house. Now, that's a problem I'd love to have, he says, in terms of making the money. You guys, yeah, yeah. Frankie, my man, you're gonna you're gonna have that problem, and you're gonna you're gonna have that problem. I'm gonna say you're gonna have it, and then you're gonna have it. All right, so just uh, wishing you well on that. But we got to put you on that hundred hundred rounds. Frankie been busy. Frankie been trading. You guys know that Frankie has been trading, been busy trading. So, and you know this, Frankie. What's up? Hello, London. Hello, everybody. Everybody, shout out to Frankie. Nice to see you, Frankie. Man, we miss you, brother. Um, we're excited to have you in the mix tonight, Frankie. Just, uh, what's up, Frankie? My man, my man. I'm going to put my man, boom. In terms of Frankie, we're excited to have you here. And you guys, it's just a cool group. It's the this is the best trade group, guys. You know this? It's just because it has the right feel. It has the right, just the the right groove to it, right right, right group, guys. It's, it's, it's cool. We're really excited about 2022 and what it's already brought us, guys. It's already brought us a lot of friends, a lot of, um, you know, and some learning situations, right? It's not all uh, it's not all perfect, right? Sometimes I have a bad day. Believe it or not, sometimes I have a bad day. Oh, yes, I do. Believe it or not, sometimes other people have a bad day, and then I have a bad day with somebody else. I'm like, man, I didn't need to act like that with that person. But I've just dealt with, like, it seems like 15 people have a bad day, right? So I got to deal with a lot of that. You guys do, too, at your work and everything else. We try and uh, we try and bring the positivity to uh, to. Uh, definitely, guys, to VIP. It's just a great group from um, the new people that uh, joined uh, Venus and Marge to um, Jubal to Crystal Ball to uh, I see old timer there, uh, Vlad. What's up, Vlad? Hope you're doing well, my man. Hope you're doing well, brother. Vlad is the man. And I bet Frankie's going through this. You guys, if you trade a lot, you'll get into this. 
there's like this mystical effect on your account. You guys will get into this. Frankie's trading. He's going through a lot right now. Look at this level of preceding resistance to potential support. Now, we know this, right? We know fans, don't we? Yeah, we know fans, guys. Preceding resistance, no surprise she wants to drop down to support. No surprise at all, is there? Now, what we're going to say is the following. She is going to need, by she, I mean Bitcoin, but Frankie, you're going to notice this sometimes. It's just kind of humorous. Have you, Frankie's dealing with some different accounts, different level accounts, etc. And Frankie, when you trade a lot, sometimes you'll get there and you get that account up where you want that account. It's like, good. Now I just need to do X percentage more in this account, right? And Frankie, you know, there's like a magic, magic something. You can't get that account up over that certain feature. It may be you turned a half a million dollar account into a $2 million account. I cannot get this account up over $2 million, whatever it may be. Or it may be a $100,000 account that you get up to, to, let's say you get it up to to four seventy, And I don't know why it is every time I get up to four seventy, it will not go past four seventy. It brings me back to 400 or whatever it may be. So, Frankie, as you're working with your trades, understand, right? Understand some of those may have to do with your scheduling, may have to do with how tired you are. You may find, uh, throw something else in the mix there. Next time you hit that barrier, go for a jog. Believe it or not, go for a jog. Go for a walk in the park. Go do something else completely different. Go throw a baseball. Go, go, hit, a, go hit a baseball at a batting cage. Do something completely, completely different. So, defective ascending triangulation, right? In terms of looking for that textbook feature there. Yeah, you got it, Frankie. Um, and, yeah, that was, a, that, was, that was a nice move. We're seeing, again, just the fan feature, just in terms of a reversal. She just doesn't want to reverse. You guys know this. Costing some time, right, in terms of that specific move to the upside. Some trades in there. But, again, buyers just not really being present. Looking at this potential pickup level here, now we're, we're invited to draw in the context of a barely narrowing uh, kind of wedge-type formation here. It's just negative, guys. She's going down. But VIP are making money. VIP are trading. Um, very profitable, guys, in terms of the trades. Um, it's been a great weekend. I have to say that, guys. A very good weekend. Freddie, nice chatting with you a little bit about your trades. And uh, Frankie, I want you to be able to take advantage of the targeting system we have with crypto, the 100 rounds, getting into hedge, getting into different things. I know you've been busy, but I really look forward to doing that soon with you and making sure that you're squared away because it's, uh, it's time, brother. This time, we're currently in the golden pocket just to reframe this. And you know this, we're in this golden pocket. It's a nice, nice, it's a nice moment for VIP. We love the golden pocket. We love our targets, right? Um, too much leverage. I tell you, too much leverage can, can, the, the idea is this, guys. You go through 100 rounds. Some of you will stay at 100 rounds. That's 100 trades at 125x. Okay, so golden pocket, 61.8 to the 65th, measured from the low to the high. The tool goes in at ground zero. Bam. Stretches to the top. 69,000. 23.6 first level. 38.2 next level. 50% next level. Right then the golden pocket is the 61.8 to the 65th. That's the percent given back. The percent discount. Then the 7.86. Essentially 80% discount. Then the 86% discount. Okay. So... That's how those are put together. And Frankie, I put a Twitter out there today. Shout out to Marge. Marge, I hope you're doing well. Hope you had a great uh, great rest of the day after we chatted and uh, kind of solidified things up there. Um, what I'd say is, uh, Frankie, I've got a, a quick YouTube or quick uh, Twitter video uh, on setting up Fibonacci's. And it's just setting up some of the, uh, the, the, uh, the levels that are not necessarily there. Now, who's getting really hurt in the market? Longs. Okay. Who's getting really hurt in the market? longs i'm gonna tell you guys people who are trading on leverage trying to go long are getting hurt it's just a difficult thing to uh guys to to, to fight against this kind of negative pressure you need to find i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you this even finding and it's been difficult like this even finding a really solid bullish pattern we have had a few ascending triangles today that just haven't wanted to have not wanted to function at all Right over the past 12 to 24 hours, it's just been consistently down. So, and what do we get? We get these stories, 1,205. That's history. That's etched in 
VIP Stone, my man. Now, the long who would want to pick this up right here, man, come on. It's a difficult pickup. You see this? This level of support? I mean, we can get there. There's probably a, there's a, a micro trade. It could surprise and go against the grain and just fly to the upside. What do we have below us? That classic 86. Now, this will be an interesting uh, feature here. Amidst the downward price action, down 4.63%. Um, easier to shoot than to go long. Uh, so correct. You got that right, brother. Um, <clears throat> and it's just... Uh, in the framework, you just need to go go with the momentum when you find yourself still trying to pick up, still trying to pick up. Like the shorts are getting paid, right? The shorts um, have done a great uh, a, gr a great job of getting priced down, guys. Uh, it's just uh, the, the bears have, have really outdone themselves. Now, this is interesting. You guys see the amplitude, the specific prior channel here? That's an interesting move. I'm going to take note of this. Prior level of support, buyers coming in. Prior level of resistance, sellers coming in looking at the amplitude of this specific move because we've already reached you guys you know this we've already reached the specific downward target on this descending triangulation you guys know that the amplitude move boom we've already reached that bam we've reached that so looking at the residual framework of the negative price action we're going to define additional technical features level of support level of resistance the this channel formation and we would do a range function okay the measured move would be the range function of this specific channel formulation and just pay attention to these the market could be severe enough now i'll send the caveat that it may not uh, this may not function but looking at this specific amplitude move and we do have the deviation in this level okay but this amplitude move of the channel if we were to park that right at breakout where does that get us to gets us right down to the 86. Now let's review that 86. Where do we get the 86? Looking at the 86, looking at the 86 is on this micro range. Let's say the one hourly from the low to the high. Again, how do you deploy your Fibonacci's? Right like this. Just click on the Fibonacci tool, click one, bam, bring up, bring it from the low, boom, to the high and just drag it over. Bam, there's your discount levels. Now it's the move, this move here, 23.6% discount, okay? Of this move, retraced, boom. 38.2, of this move, 38.2% down. Of this move, 50% down. Of the move, the golden pocket, the 61.8 to the 65th, or the 7.86, this 86 is a custom level you need to add into your repertoire, okay? Add it into your features. As we would look at, that 86, it's interesting because the amplitude of the channel, okay, the amplitude of this channel feature here brought down to the point of breakout will land you at that 86, okay? Bam. We're still squarely within the golden pocket on the macro. And we fought like heck to keep the bulls rolling. Try to encourage you guys to go buy some Bitcoin. Buy it as an early Christmas present if you have to. We tried to, guys, but uh, always with the understanding, and uh, I, jokes aside, guys, never to be overexposed. You guys know that, and not just listening. I mean, not, uh, protect yourself at all times, like being in the ring with a pro champ, right? You guys know this. It is. You trade. You, uh, you beware, right? You protect yourself at all times, like the knockout could come. The knockout punch could come at any moment. You guys know this, and you got to be rested. I talked with uh, Marge just a little bit about that today. You got to make sure you're rested. You got to make sure you're firing on all cylinders because the market's always firing on all cylinders. It just always is, guys. There's enough comp uh, competition around the world. It's always, always firing on all cylinders. Looking at a bit of a, of a uh, underthrow here. We would call this like an underthrow or an overthrow level of support. To the extent this would want to pick up slightly and then roll back through. We see this uh, quite frequently. If it wants to go down to the 86, it's fine. Shorts are getting paid. Congratulations to the VIP. You guys are doing extremely well. I'm very excited to be a part of the group and to have you guys in the group. What is going on? Now, in terms of this eternal quest for the knowledge of where is the bottom, man, everybody wants to know where is the bottom on Bitcoin. Oh, guys, I'm going to tell you, you got a level here at the Golden Pocket truth you got a level here at the 786 truth you got a level here at the 86 truth 
You got a level at 24,000. Say 24 to 25,000. Fine. You got a level at 15,000. That's the 78.6. Then you got the level of 10,000. Okay. So in terms of where the bottom is, if anyone would like to participate at these levels, if you get the opportunity to, you would be, uh, you know, you'd be crazy not to. To forecast right now, I'm going to tell you guys to forecast right now where the economy is going, okay, where uh, interest rates are going, where the inflation argument is going to start or stop at the uh, U.S. borders or uh, claim international territory, right? Are we picking up at that 86? Very important. Just to dive down. Boom. Close. She got close. Well, she hit again. That was close. Let me actually rewind my lines. Let me look at this real quickly. Make sure that we are set up. I don't think that we hit that yet. Very important. Saw that flash down. We may have. Let's take a look at this. That's extremely close. Uh, we're close on that 86. I really would like to see a hit down into that 86, that 25,063. A lot of orders, I would imagine, are at that 25,000. And again, this is an opportunity for shorts to hammer into it, but the momentum is down. You guys know that. The momentum is down. The 86 is one of our favorite levels. I'll definitely say that. And as we look at our, you know, quote unquote, favorite level, that 86, just understand, never overexposed. If you're flash trading, et cetera, if you're carrying a short and you decide to hit some longs, I saw Anthony do that, VIP do that frequently, right? Um, we're just almost at a target, right? This is going to be a pricing target um, to the extent that we're, where, where, where are we at in terms of price? 5.74% to the downside. Um, very, uh, very appreciative of all you guys and your levels of success. Frankie, thank you for being VIP. It's great to talk to you. I appreciate the camaraderie, the trading camaraderie, and it's a pleasure to have you in the mix. So the 86, things look a little aggressive. So who would just buy into that, guys? I got to tell you, who would just buy into that? You know, just hammer into it, huh? Just the 86, she's pouring down 5.75%. Who in their right mind would just hammer into something along the lines like that? That's, uh, that, that's, that's powerful, right? Um, that's what bulls do. You guys know this. And depending on, upon your, uh, depending upon your, you know, overall, uh, record, you maybe feel very comfortable powering into the 86. Boom. You're on it, right? Just be cautious. Never be overexposed. You don't want to have a bad day, a bad week or a bad month, right? You just don't. And that's one thing I always make VIP promise when we get in. What's the stop loss ratio here? Huh? That's going to be very interesting because I know people are on the seven eight, uh, on the 86. We may be heading down to the 65th. This could get exciting, guys, if we could head down to the 65th because this is the type of action I wanted to see. Just extreme, strong red. I wanted to see it. I really did. I like getting into the red. I like it for shorts, and I like it for uh, just the overall, um, the overall discount factor. I'm very uh, excited by uh, by discounts. I like that in the market. I like the volatility. It's, it's, this is as impressive to me as if we were to have a day where we're up five or 6% to the upside. Okay. Let's watch this level on the 15 second. And you guys know the days we're up eight to 10%, 11% on Bitcoin, extremely good days. The days where we're down eight, nine, 10% on Bitcoin or more extremely good days. Um, just, uh, they're good days, guys. Bottom line, that's what we uh, that's what we focus on are the uh, levels of volatility, the price action, right? You just you can't replace price action, right? Uh, move up, move down, move. That's the bottom line, right? Get get to where you're going, right? Don't let us don't don't make us wait. That's the bottom line. Don't make us sit and wait, right? Uh, make us sit and wait at the computer. Nothing wants to move. Paint drying. Right? The paint is dry. Time to move. That's the bottom line. You guys know who have waited. It's like I'm waiting for my next trade. Yeah, we got to trade, man. We, we want that price action. If she needs to get down, get down. Just just roll with it. Right? Uh, we uh, we welcome the uh, price action regardless. Let's look at if we set a flat top here. I'm going to dig into the lowest time frames. I want to see where we're at on this. A little bit of a hit here on the 86. Okay, she pushed a little bit below. Let's see. If she can outdo this uh, this, uh, this upward, the, the good thing is this, guys. The short's just getting paid, right? If you have a short, Anthony had a short. I've had multiple shorts today. 12.05, boom. Nice. That, guys, 1,205% for Anthony. Uh, VIP, what's up, guys? Top Trade Group, if you guys aren't members. And uh, Frankie, we're looking forward to you slamming into 
some proper trades with us, my man. We need to get you lined out after you're done with your project. Uh, Frankie is here, and he's he's got a little bit of a, uh, a trade project ongoing, right? A little bit of a trade project ongoing. I need to get an update on that. I want to see how that consistency worked. How did that consistency, uh, that effort at consistency, start to uh, start to work? And I tell you guys, discipline and consistency. Okay, those are the two factors that are going to uh, differentiate you from the market: discipline and consistency. In terms of your trades, your approach to your trades, right? Just hugely, hugely important. Guys, those two factors will set the mark for you, right? We're currently along this 86%. We'd like to see a trade. Earlier today, an 86 worked out phenomenally well. You guys know it really, really worked out phenomenally well. Really strong price action to the upside. Just seems like we have a lot of negative price momentum right now guys a whole lot of negative price momentum so we can uh, look for a reversal or a decent hit at this 86 i'm just telling you guys yeah from the looks of everything shorts just appear to be continually getting paid doesn't seem like there's a, a decent interruption in that we can go through another level of resistance to potential support we can see if there's a potential pickup here but it just doesn't seem like the freight train is slowing down, even on the macro. And let's look at this, even on the macro, right? The macro golden pocket right now. And this is going to be, again, just to remind yourself, so we spent two days at this 50% retracement. Two days, 50% retracement, we spent two days, guys. So looking at this golden pocket in this area, this is the first time we've hit on the line on the daily. Now that's important. All right, we're going into this on the line on the daily. I think that's significant, guys. I think that's significant. However, what's equally significant, and take a look at this, very important. This chart is just amazing. I'm going to flip this for uh, purposes of distinction. Look at how nice of a four hourly bull. It's going to be a bear flag, right? Boom. That is just impressive. That is completely impressive. Fulfilling this pattern would take us an additional 20%, an additional $5,000 off to $20,000. Bitcoin, period. Beautiful pattern. You can't find them like that, can you guys? They're not easy to find like that, guys. I'm telling you, that is textbook. That is beautiful. One, two, three, four, five up and out. Boom. That is just impressive. Let's flip it to a normalized chart. Boom. That's nice, guys. Now we're up against the golden pocket. We're in the golden pocket right now. But yeah, an additional $5,000 off. It's just textbook. You can't argue with that, right? Uh, you can present an argument. Let's say, let, let's say this. You, you could present the angle if you want to that, well, you know, the bulls could rush in at the golden pocket again. Now, that would be the, the thing. We would, we would say, like, uh, you know, history repeating itself. Kind of um, the notion here of this 30% move last time we hit this level was a 30% move. That's a big move, guys. Last time we hit this level was a 30% move. That's significant, right? Very significant. And the level is actually below a bit, right at that 23,865, 23,865. And let's take a look at the um, at the specific. Uh, let's go into that uh, 86, that classic 86 that we get a hit. That's not bad, guys. That's not bad at all, is it? A hey, VIP. That's our level, guys. That 86 is our level. Boom. Boom. Nice moves. Nice moves. We'd like to see that. Congratulations to all the VIP who are trading. Anyone who just got into a long on that. Boom, boom. Very nicely done. That move right there is an impressive move, guys. That's a big move. VIP are trading. I'll tell you guys that. Huh? Very, very nicely done, guys. Very nicely done. Congratulations to the VIP. Very nicely done, guys. Excellent. We'd love to see that specific level trade because it's our level guys period you guys go look around i'm telling you go look around what did we just hit we just hit the 86 whose level is that that's our level that's my level guys that's our level the 86 ba boom bam nice beautiful measure it out go from the low bam to the high bam where are we at we're on the 86 that's why we have the logo you guys know this that's why we have the logo that's why we have the emoji Boom, look at this, guys. So that 86, that's thunder rolling. Boom, into, guys, that's thunder rolling in terms of a positive trade at that level. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful hit. Love that. 
It's worth some cash, guys. What's up, Frankie? You see that 86 hit? Boom. Most of the market doesn't even know what was hit. The majority of the market doesn't know what was hit. Meanwhile, what are the uh, what was earned at the level uh, put on 1K? Uh, what was earned at that level it put on 1,000? Well, that's a good question, uh, John. Um, if put on a thousand, it would depend. Uh, I would, I will say that it would depend upon your leverage circumstance. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta get into VIP and learn leverage, right? That's a 1.25%. So, uh, that's a, a $2,000, uh, return. Okay. A $2,000 return at a hundred to 125 X over that. Um, you, you would make a, an additional thousand dollars on that just to answer the question, but we invite you to join VIP. We really do. John, that's, uh, that's one of the uh, things that you would want to do. And, and never financial advice or anything like that. But you guys just know we're going to brag about our Fibonacci level. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you guys see that. I got to say Pathfinder. Boom. Bam. And, guys, that's the point about VIP. You join. What's on the top left? It says target strategies. We got them, guys. Learn to trade leverage. Learn to trade leverage. Boom. And now you don't have to watch a video. I'm going to I'm gonna show you. Right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take you through leverage, through your first leverage trade. Really easy. And you're going to see the, the, the power of leverage and power of a hedge. Nobody talks about a hedge. People don't even think you can hedge. Period. They don't even think you can hedge. You guys know this. You know what hedge is. I'm going to cover my long with a short. I'm going to cover my... Uh, the, the instinct I have says it's going up every time. I don't know why, right? If you have that problem, well, why don't you cover it with a short? Hey. So we cover things with hedges. That I, I introduced that to all the VIP, and it takes, what, guys, about, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes? I get you into a hedge? Yeah, that's good stuff, guys. So um, this is London with Bitcoin Spike. I used to have a hedge fund in, private hedge fund, in uh, in California. So I like to trade. We have a good trade group. We got some good guys. Shout out to Angel. Angel, what's up? Quiet, huh? In the back, hanging out. He's top contributor. I invested in Bitcoin at $7.79. And he knows the 86. He knows quality when he sees it, huh? Everybody got to know that quality. Ba-boom. Nice. So, yeah, that was a nice move. I'd like to know who else traded that. I traded that. Believe it or not, I traded. It's my 86. That's 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 that level. Look at that. Ba-boom. So, yeah, I had to trade that. It's nice. We hit the 86 better than we did the 786. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? I also took it right here. Boom. I just did. Quick flash bam bam you can pocket guys i promise you i promise you without a doubt you can pocket if you trade this if you traded this right you could pocket 10 15 thousand dollars guys okay easily boom boom okay but you have to trade it right i'll just tell you okay that move right there worth between 10 and 15 thousand dollars boom boom now you could also lose fifteen thousand dollars period now, you could make $150, boom, boom, or you could lose $150, okay? So, that's one thing I also walk people through so that you understand it's not a primrose path and it's not all roses. I walk people through a liquidation, and I'm telling you guys, there's nothing like having a trader liquidate something. There's nothing like it. Having your position disappear, that's what it's like in VIP. That's what we do period that is the first trade ask anybody who's been set up by me yeah london liquidated me period you have to know what that's like i have to instill that in the framework of the vip and i tell you if it's two dollars twenty dollars two thousand dollars two hundred thousand dollars or two million or two hundred million it doesn't matter it's going to liquidate it's going to be gone period okay and i let you walk through that process okay in terms of having something vanish from your account, a position gone, boom, in the framework of a, sh a short framework, right? And I also let you see on the other side of that, some dramatic returns, boom, that go through the roof. Like, whoa, never made money this quickly. You'll get into, not going to be like Anthony's, 1,205% today. Anthony, I'm going to cut you a video, brother, I promise. But in terms of that, guys, yeah, you'll see return like, whoa, I already made like 60% on, on, my, on my trade. That's the idea, guys. Yeah, 60%. And I always like to reinforce, at a time and place of your choosing the market, okay? 
your interaction with the market. Don't let it keep you up 24-7. You're not beating the market. The market is beating you. No, you guys can sit down. The goal is, and you can hammer out four consecutive trades, positive trades, at any point in time you choose, at a time and place you're choosing. You sit down when you're ready. You take advantage of the market. Bam, 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 bam. You book those trades. That's the goal. This year, less time, better results, right? More profit in less time. That's the idea because crypto is open, guys, 24-7. You know this, but it's, a, it's an issue. You can master your trades, but guys, you cannot master a market that's open 24 7, 365. You can't be trading 24 hours a day. And people try. Literally, people try. That's the worst part about crypto, guys. And we, you know, we, we've run through it. We've stayed open during the Asian sh- sessions. What does it look like is guiding? I'm, t- I'm just asking everybody what does it look like is really guiding the, the crypto market? Is it, is it Asia? Is it London? You know, is it England or Australia or or Tokyo or... No, guys. It's the Fed. Any overseas channel you see right now is going to be full of talks about the Federal Reserve and the United States economic crisis with inflation. Period. The whole world revolves around it right now. Yes. We have details with GDP, China, etc. Right? Looking at a capitulation. I booked here. Boom. Again, this move. Bam. We're at 10 to 15K. Bam. You get a couple of those. That's, that's, that's the second one I hit today. Bam. On 86. Shout out to the VIP. That's our custom level. We have strategy. I'm going to tell you guys we have strategy. Yo. <laughs> it's just the truth, guys. It is just the truth. We have targets. We have strategy. Low to high. Man, I'd love to see our upside targets get fulfilled. Oh, what do you guys think, huh? upside targets getting potentially fulfilled man you are just this whole thing would just be really exciting to see some upside targets get hit we got to get some buyers to engage in i got to tell you guys this whole equities thing we're down six percent nice hit on that on that 86 you guys got to give it up for that 86 nicely done huh i'm telling you guys you can flip some cash you can and it's not like uh, i made some lunch money you're gonna you know uh, by the back corner of the restaurant, you know, in terms of like, yeah, we want to sit here for, you know, the next three or four weekends. Yeah, we want to be here the next three or four weekends, right? We're going to have nice, you know, just a steak, a nice bottle of wine. Just relax. Go ahead and pay you now. Well, just, just relax. Huh? It'll be, you know, it'll be, you know, me and the guys, huh? the, the guys, we're going to be, we're going to be here. You know, go ahead and take care of it. Here is the money for you. You know, it's going to be nice. Huh? Sound like some, uh, we pulling up off the 86 again. I sound like some, uh, some New Yorker, huh? Hey, guys, I am not from New York. Let's take a look at this. this eight, where are we at, guys? We got the 86 again? Hold on, hold on. Let me reframe. Exciting about that 86. Look at us just tear up. Every time I zoom out, she goes up. You guys know that? Every time I zoom out on price, she goes up. When I zoom in, she likes to go down. Maybe we should take advantage of that, huh? Every time, we, literally, guys, when I zoom out on this screen, I don't know why. It's like a joke, running joke with VIP. Price likes to go up. When I zoom in, for some reason, we can stare this thing down through the <laughs> down through the corridor, right? Down through the ground, we can. It's just like anytime we zoom in, it's like it's not, it doesn't want to go up. But this is a nice double hit on that specific 86, our custom level. I'm excited for the VIP guys. Really, genuinely am. It's been a nice day so far in terms of trading. I know that you guys are doing well. And um, yeah, John, you're welcome. John, I'm going to invite you to join our VIP. Uh, you're welcome to join the VIP. Uh, but I make invitations like that, and you've already chosen not to. And I got to tell you, John, we really love our audience. You're welcome to stay as a member of the audience. But what I'll tell you is that uh, I'm going to go ahead and hide you from the channel because I really believe like we give an invitation to everybody to join VIP. And when you don't join, it's something that YouTube offers. They recommend it, and we insist upon it. So, like, you're taking up the room for Frankie, and Frankie is VIP. Boom. So, for anyone who's listening who hasn't joined, understand that it's a uh, it's a situation where we really respect our VIP members. It's part of the exclusivity of being a VIP, and we really mean that. We have some top shelf VIP guys, some of the strongest uh, some of the star- strongest traders around. I will I will. Just note the 1,205%, boom, 
1,205%. If you don't know what you're doing in the market, well, maybe uh, maybe there's another channel out there for you if you guys don't want to join VIP. But for the guys who really want to master the market, for really, really want to master the market, I know that's uh, that's our group. So, um, yeah, we're excited about that. We've been around for a while. And we're excited about um, – we don't make any excuses either. We're exclusive. That's it. I protect the turf of the VIP. And, you know – YouTube actually just recommends that in terms of perks, et cetera, like exclusivity. And so I really reinforce that as kind of a, I don't know, I'd like to I'd like to think that I'm a good creator for them, and I really appreciate everything they do for us as well. And that's genuine. All the, all the people behind that, wherever they may be involved. So let's see what we can do. Anything interesting that we could do? I told you guys the surprise. Do you remember that surprise that I was going to fight? Is there anything surprise that would interrupt our move to the downside? Remember that two days ago? And then I found the Fibonacci on, you guys remember that, I found the Fibonacci on the lines, right, on the hourly lines. We were on the Fibonacci on the 786 instead of the candle wicks. You guys remember that? Those who were listening. Oh, those who listen, right? We found this 786. I'm like, hey, guys, we're on the 786. Boom, 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 boom. How big of a move was that on the 786? Hmm? Take a look at this, guys. Overall, that was quite a move just on the line in the 786, okay, 2.91%. To find it was invaluable to know that she was operating on two different levels of the Fibonacci. Yes, we dug down into the 86. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys, hold on. I have to look at this very quickly. Look at this. Down at the 86 was the golden pocket. Once again, from the lines, unbelievable, guys, I know the ones who are listening who understood that. The 86 was the golden pocket hit, right? From the low to the high on the lines, on the hourly, boom, we shredded right into the golden pocket. That was the golden pocket hit. That mid-level function of the golden pocket. Isn't that phenomenal? That was just awesome, guys. That was really great that we were able to identify that. It was a surprise. Something told me something else may interrupt the price at this point. So in terms of it, I always try and leave you guys with something. You guys know this. I really do. And uh, John, anyone else who's listening, it's nothing personal. Rather, John Jr., okay? We'd love to have you in VIP. Contact me via Twitter if you really want to join. And it's the place to learn. It really is. I'm a former financial professional. I'm a former presidential uh, presidential advisor. And, um, yeah, former hedge fund. And this is the place to be. We focus on New York Institute of Finance. It's not just the latest, greatest opinion of what I come up with. It's consecrated since 1920 in the New York Institute of Finance which was founded by the New York Stock Exchange, which has been around since 1790. So we focus on those patterns. We focus on those target frameworks. That's what we do. Where Wall Street goes to school. We have to trade against those guys when we trade Bitcoin. We want to know everything those guys know. Okay? That's the bottom line. You guys have to know that. New York Institute of Finance, we focus on that. That's where Wall Street goes to school. Right? VIP have the book. We have the New York Institute of Finance book, okay? We just do. It's crucially important in terms of your level of success is understanding. It's not, guys, it's not a feel-good talk about market makers going to take you down and pull you up and deliver you for profit. And it's not about that, guys. It's about telling you you are the market maker when you set price in the market. You guys understand that? You are the market maker when you set a limit order. Telling you the truth, not a feel-good shop here. This is not a feel-good shop. This is where the rubber meets the road. This is where good traders thrive, period, right? Where you understand and you learn what a hedge is, right? All right, period. Look at that, 1,205%. Love that, Anthony. Love it, brother. We're currently on the golden pocket. So that surprise did work out the other day. It was nice to see that. I felt something, that there was something there indicated in between our levels of the Fibonacci. Today, I want the VIP to focus on the following. We have a beautiful opportunity right now. Okay, the opportunity exists in the framework of establishing a target. Boom. This is the framework, guys. Bam. We want a target. I'm going to tell you guys that. We want a target. Period. We have a beautiful opportunity to establish a target. Right? Now, that would require, as VIP know, what VIP know. And for everybody else... Let them go and dig into what that really means. I mean for the VIP, you guys know this, we have an incredible, incredible opportunity to create a target. That is what I will leave the VIP with. They understand exactly what I'm saying, 
All right. And for other people, they don't, uh, they don't, they don't understand. Additional target, copy that, right? In terms of pushing to the seven eight six, mm, guys, that's, what is that? Fifteen thousand. That's. Let's go ahead and measure. Now we went through the flag formation. Additional five thousand, right? Orders are waiting at that five thousand target. An additional forty percent off, all right? As we would take another ten thousand dollars off. Let's regroup into the framework here very quickly in terms of this specific bear flag. Just to flip this, judge your bias. Look how beautiful that is. That is textbook. Textbook. Okay? Now, as she proceeds, she will have various levels of competition to get up and over or to get down underneath. As you would look at the framework for the four hourly, I want you to go through an exercise similar to this, if you could, please, and realize on the four hourly that you will have various opportunities for and I had to adjust had to adjust the microphone various opportunities for the expression of a level of support to come in some sort of a cross angle i'd say an angled level of support to come in btc will need to power down through those levels of support on the four hourly okay they will likely provide opportunities to trade okay you understand that they will likely op uh, afford traders opportunities to trade bounces boom 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 okay and I'm telling you guys, in the ones who trade leverage enough, you know, you guys know this. You don't need a huge move. And you don't need to trade necessarily all day. Now, Anthony, you have got the magic touch, my man. You can hold through those trades. You enjoy it. It's part of your nature. It's who you are, right? If you stay with that nature, and I'm talking about him, him really just, you know, railing through the roof with a and this this was a it was a trade for one day right it was stay in trades for weeks at times etc but that's a one day trade 1205 percent it's when we identified this area identifying this descending triangulation at 28,069 in this zone we were talking about the ascending ascending wedge rising wedge now you know generally they're bearish right 1200 percent beautiful so in the, in the context of thing things i am looking very much forward to setting a target that's what I'm going to say, guys. I really, really am looking forward to setting a target. You guys just know that as a function of who we are as a team, right? As a team, as a, as a group. Like, absolutely, huh? And anything else, anything else, anything else. In terms of the golden pocket, we are excited about hitting the golden pocket, right? In terms of the overall effect, I'm not going to say, any, say anything about equities. I'm just not, okay? In the context of things, I'm not going to say anything about equities. I want to focus on the target. That's just it. I want to focus on the target. I want you guys to uh, focus on the benefit because while the rest of the world is falling apart, guys, while, while they're all falling apart, what are we doing? We're excited because we're shorting. We're excited because we have potential upside targets, right? It's all about upside targets, guys. Look at this nice hit on the 86. So frame yourself around one thing. If you're not in a trade already, you don't need to rush to get into a trade. We're at a natural level uh, in terms of acquisition. Okay, that would be more, uh, I'd say more of on, on a spot basis if you guys chose to accumulate at this level, right? Uh, we still have a lower downside target. You guys know that in terms of that 5,000 on the bear flag that we just looked at on the four hourly. And shout out to the VIP. I appreciate you guys being a part of the stream. I really, 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 guys, really, really am excited about this target. I'm going to tell you guys, I'm really excited about this target, period. Now, that would mean that would mean some price action at some point. In terms of a hit here, eh, we'll be trading. We'll be in the back. I want to see what you guys can do. I know you can do great things. You've been just killing it. Guys, you've been killing it. Really excited to see what all you're capable of. In terms of this specific level horizontally, right, we don't have a lot here to really interrupt an additional move down. If you look horizontally, we kind of have a space in this zone, right about this level. We do have a level there at 22,000, right? We have a prior level of resistance, which could come in as support at that 19,000. Those are going to be in addition to your levels on the Fibonacci's. Noted. Okay, just, just note those levels. Very important. In the meantime, look what it took today for a 1,200% move. Let's let's re-diagnose this. And when I say we're going to be in the back, let's look at this. This specific framework, Anthony, you got in at this level, a rising wedge bearish, 
and on uh, into a short guys that, that went for 1200 percent so when we say we're going to the back to trade boom look at this descending triangulation in red bearish ascending wedge also bearish and look at this this was on the micro this on the five minute time frame guys boom 1205 percent anthony you're ahead of the game brother you are ahead of the game you're killing the market so when i say we're going to the back to trade that was one micro but this is the daily time frame there we're talking about one small that was guys on, on the five minute time frame that was the five minute time frame that's that's the that's what we're looking at in terms of this back door access bam look at this it's right there so yeah that move has turned into boom beautiful move we're very excited about that congratulations to anthony that's what makes our group our group right so when i said we're going to the back to trade hey that's what's up guys you feel free to post your own charts i want you guys to post your charts um jubal we hope you had a great time uh hiking with the kiddos hopefully that went well i'd pay attention to this level of resistance here okay that we're coming into up and off of that classic 86 we're in the golden pocket guys let's trade let's keep the spirits up you guys are doing great way to book those trades those shorts nobody has a story like vip nobody guys literally nobody in the entirety of the space right now I, I nobody has in crypto nobody has a, sp a story like this anthony thanks for setting the hallmark i've got some things i could i could add to the mix in terms of some positive trades today i won't uh, muddy up the water it was a good day all i'm gonna say it was a good day um some some uh worthwhile trades uh, went on i'm gonna say that guys but in terms of the star today is anthony is freddie who's also trading is Sean, who, who brought us a picture of him and his uh, daughter going to see the new Top Gun movie, right? Is uh, is Frankie shouting out? Is Venus getting plugged in? Is uh, Marge contacted me, wanted to know about Fibonacci's, me making the video. And guys, I just appreciate all of you. Also, Torque in the back did great. Pathfinder, uh, just chatting up. You guys are just the number one trade team. Love having you guys in the group. It's awesome. And I'm looking forward to a killer, killer kind of week here with bitcoin we're gonna do it again what a great weekend yo we did it again huh we keep having these weekends guys i don't know it's so much fun it should be illegal right you <laughs> see that's what you would say like man this car is so nice it's just driving it like under the speed limit it feels like that right i'm gonna get pulled over this it's just a ferrari man just get used to it you'll just you know it's like feels like i'm going 80 i'm only going 20 it's nice no but in terms of that guys you're just killing it i'm really excited about uh vip all of the uh, framework you guys are putting into it all the hard work is just going to keep paying off we're really 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 excited about that and if we could get a potential fan reversal we just haven't been able to hit a single one of them that's what happens when buyers can't can't show up but also just look at what is at the top of each of these. Always remind yourselves, and I bring this up frequently, uh, Bitcoin can handle these typically. You guys know Bitcoin is very good at handling these. But in terms of a descending triangulation there, this is the feeling people start to get after you've experienced some real descending triangulation work by, uh, by Bitcoin or anything else. Boom, bam, right? It just can, it can impact this way. So this is the reputation they have in the marketplace. Looking at this preceding, and this is what we, we really were trying to inspire the bulls to the extent we could. But this preceding zone here on the left, you guys know, let me clear up the Fibonacci's in this level so you can really see. But that preceding zone was a classic fake out. Bitcoin loves to do that. So really she's, I'm going to say strongly, she's actually two in favor or two to the upside, right? Because as I would look at this, is this is one split, one to the upside. Descending triangulation, descending line of resistance, flat bottom support. Then this descending line of resistance, flat bottom support, boom to the downside. What I'll remind you of is clearly on the four hourly. You guys know. You just see these guys down here parked down there. But this one was a big one, guys. That was a big one. Boom. So she can handle them pretty well. When she doesn't, she doesn't. And this is what it looks like in terms of your screen turning green. 1,205%. Yeah boom i'll always reinforce you guys trading i just always will i'm very excited about um, the potential for what all is going on in 2022 we're building i've been saying that we're building and we're building the top trade group and reinforcing additional traders if you guys are interested in joining just don't think about it just join don't be afraid maybe you won't fit in or maybe it won't be you being strong enough man you got to forget that you gotta you gotta muscle up and go 
hammer into the market. We're going to help you do that, not in terms of actual dollars, but in terms of your understanding of the technicals, in terms of the framework, put you through 100 rounds, make sure you know what's going on. Sean, you just showed up. I just shouted out to you, brother. I really am just about to close things out, my man. What is up, Sean? Well, we just said thank you for the Top Gun and everything else. I'm putting 86. Moon Man, what is up, Sean? We so appreciate you being a part of the group, and I just want to say shout out to you. Thank you so much. And, Sean, you have to let me know what your top trade is. You see on the bottom, this Freddie, 450. Top returns, 849. Anthony, Bill, Jabal, 525. Right? So I need to know what your top trade is. I'm going to redo some of this to where it really looks just killer. It's going to be great by the time we get through with all of this in terms of the presentation. I want to feature all of your trades. We're going to think of what we're going to do in the next six to eight months, guys. It's going to be unbelievable. And, and you don't have to rewatch everything. Uh, but uh, we covered some good stuff. Uh, maybe flip through and see what we're doing on this 86 hit. Just understand, if you're just tuning in right now, who has the classic 86? That's us. That's me. That's my level. I have to say it's mine that puts people off, but it's just the truth. It's really Bitcoin's level that no one knows about. The low to the high, right? The low to the high measured on the candle wicks, right? That low to the high feature, boom, has picked up on the 86, our classic level. Make sure that you double click, bam, bam, okay? And add in that 86, add in that 65th. You got to. It's hugely important, right? Hugely. You're seeing our technicals. Just lay waste to the market. This is very, very, very important. And guys, you don't have to catch all of every move. You don't at a time and place of your choosing. If you have that stamina, if you have that ability to catch all the moves, then go for it. Um, which you shorted everything, but 150%. Hey, you were out with your daughter at a movie, Sean. You were out with your daughter at a movie. You won that trade, right? That's a good trade. That's a good, that, you know, it, it, the market and, and, uh, you know, a huge trade or go spend time with your daughter and take her to go see Top Gun. You won that trade. Good trade. Honestly, good trade. Family, right? I always say, guys, eat well, sleep well, and pay attention and invest in those relationships that you knew were worth investing in before you started investing. And I also do say, Sean and everybody else, now that you're investing, make sure that you invest in these relationships right here. We're looking at a little bit of a pop, boom. We know what's going on in the back, guys. If you don't, know what's going on in the screen you need to be back in the room with us you need to be back in vip ba boom all right just look at this stuff just fantastic long and a short look at that uh what is this uh hey what's up look at this i always forget to screenshot these since i'm trading on pc here's one ba boom way to go pathfinder my man what's up pathfinder hitting 137 percent ba boom i got a feature path what's up the doge man what's up boom Big Doge fan right here. Me personally. I, I I celebrate the fact that it's low in price. 849%. Look at that. Then 1,000. What is this? 849%. I guess it's just kept going and boom, boom, boom. See, it turns from 800. The, the, the anatomy is, okay, from 849% to 1,001% to 1,205%. Yo, yo, yo. That's just what it looks like, guys. To what? Looking at the 86 being a critical pickup level. Look at this, 2.38% to the upside. Hello, VIP knows what that means, huh? That's cash, that's money. Boom, nicely done, 2.38%. Bam, that's a nice move. And you guys will get to where you structure in more cash and eh, after a few hundred rounds, we'll get there, guys. We'll get there. This is London with Bitcoin Spike. Exciting, exciting weekend again. And Sean, thanks for tuning in. I told everybody I was looking forward to establishing a target. Sean, and you're here. You've been out with your daughter, et cetera. Very important. But what I said is, in terms of the price action, I always try and leave VIP with something. And I'm just really excited about this specific target. I'm excited about that as a target. And we know what, what would be required for that to become a target, don't we? We really do. So I'm excited about seeing that target. So we got to get uh, we got to get busy with <laughs> with with price action, guys. Uh, to the upside, to the downside, where it's going, we'll trade it on the way there. Buy at support, sell at resistance. Trade your patterns and hit your targets. Right? Buy at support, sell at resistance. Trade your patterns, boom, and hit your targets, bam. 
Nice. Nicely done, guys. This is London with Bitcoin Spike. I'll try and get you guys a feature technical video. I'll try and put that together in case uh, you guys missed the stream, etc. I'll try and put something together for you. And it's been a pleasure, guys, all day long. I want to shout out again to Marge. Had the pleasure of kind of chit-chatting with you today. I hope you have a great, great week. And get that rest we were talking about. Very important. Get that rest. And uh, Frankie, nice to have you stopping in. My man, that's what's up, brother. Can't wait to chit-chat with you a little bit and catch you up on L Bank once you have uh, gotten a little bit loose in terms of what you're what you're going through, right? You got a little bit of a uh, trade challenge going on. Love that. It's a good challenge, guys. A lot of trades going on. Fibonacci's in play. You guys know this. Nice 86. We're just having a great time. You guys are killing it in the back. This is London with Bitcoin Spike. Take care of yourself. And, guys, it's going to be a great week. A lot of volatility. Let's go after it. When she when she pauses, when she stands still, when she's sitting there, not moving, understand she's preparing for a run. To the upside, to the downside, that's fine. We'll play the patterns. We'll play the patterns, guys. We'll look at the targets to the upside, sure. However, we're going to play the patterns. Do we have a pattern to get us there? No, we didn't, right? We had a descending triangulation on a bearish rising wedge, descending triangulation. Sure, we had a, pa a target to the upside. But as of this moment, we didn't have a target or we didn't have a pattern pardon to get us to that target. Boom. We didn't have it. So great short, Anthony. Perfect example of what I had brought to the equation for the VIP. Perfect, wasn't it? You have to have, first of all, you need a target. We had a target to the upside. Bam. Then we need a pattern to get us to that target. Well, the pattern was bearish, right? In terms of the descending triangulation, bearish. In terms of the rising wedge feature as well, not drawn in, uh, but demonstrated here, uh, demonstrated here, uh, rising wedge also uh, bearish. So nicely done. Perfect demonstration that we need the target, number one, we need that target. Number two, we need a pattern to get us to that target. So boom, congratulations, guys. This is London. I'm really excited about this week, about all the VIP. If I failed to mention you, please excuse that. Chris, I want to shout out to you. What's up, boss? Man, Chris, what's up? Haven't talked to you in a while. Hope things are well with you. Just a shout out. Um, you just came to mind real quickly. And uh, Jay, dog in the house. Jay, what's up? Uh, everybody from Amos to uh, guys, the entirety of the crew, you guys know. It's a crucial, crucial group. You all mean a lot to me and a lot to each other in the group. It's huge. Venus, we're excited to have you um, in the back. You're going to bring a lot of um, just uh, a lot of power in terms of your ability to just jam into things bill bill you came out of the gate look at the picture right there bill came out of the gate with a 500 percent trade 500 percent trade out of the gate day one i set him up on a trade and the trade went half the trade went for uh the 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 hedge went for 500 percent so hugely important vlad hope you're well hope you're well brother want to see some great trades vlad Want to see some great, great trades. Luke, my man, without a doubt, Luke's, Luke's, Luke's VIP. He, he is VIP. Literally, if you look up VIP in the dictionary, you're going to see Luke. You see him there, but that's just the way it is. That is Luke. <laughs> he knows that. He's like, well, he's just, he's the mainstay. He's, he's, the, he's, the, he's, the, he's the brain trust. He's everything about it. He, he knows what it is and what it, what it has been and what it will be. Um, Freddie, the man with a plan, just nice to have you, Freddie. Um, just killing the market. Just looking forward to seeing additional developments. I know that things are developing right now, Freddie. Uh, Marge, again, beautiful family, beautiful uh, beautiful woman. Appreciate having you and Venus in the tandem. Uh, Pathfinder, I love that 150%. Let's just all say this again, 150% for Pathfinder. What's up? 100, 137%. Yo, very nice. Jubal, I want to see what the returns were today. I know that you were hiking with the family and everything else. I'm excited to see... Um, maybe you got some pictures from uh, the kiddos and everything else. That'd be cool uh, to see. Steve-O is in the house. He's in red. You guys see this? We would just watch the pickup here on the specific 8.6. But Steve, man, priceless. Want to see you jump into those. And, of course, the longest standing VIP would be AJ Crypto. You guys know that in the ski helmet there. AJ Crypto, the longest standing VIP. Frankie, you're brand new. You got to know that. You see a picture of Frankie there? You got to know. AJ's kind of the, he's, he's, he's the, 
he's he he he's where the rubber meets the road. He's he's the guy behind the guys behind the guys, the VIP. He's been around longer than anybody. So, um, and I'm just uh, really blessed and fortunate to have you guys in this trade group. I'm really excited to be able to share it with you guys as well, like these custom features, like this 86. I just am. That's our level. Nobody else is going to use that, guys. That's, that's it's Bitcoin's level, but nobody else knows that, guys. It's hugely important. It's just a feature. Boom, that hit. Just perfect, guys. Really exciting to see the framework to come together when we're live in the golden pocket and we just see a nice hit like this. You just don't always get a nice hit like that. And while you're on leverage, to see a tradable leverage trade, boom, 2.3% to the upside. Bam. That's beautiful. Steve is looking for for a uh, for an entry. Um you closed the short at 500%. Send us the details, Pathfinder. Send us the details. Post it. Uh, let me know because I'll adjust this uh, the the tape along the bottom. I want to. I want you all to have that tape. Something. If it's uh, 85%, whatever it is, I want you to be competitive, but I want you to compete with yourself. It's good for you guys to compete. So I'm going to put everybody on the in the middle of the stream in front of the in front of the Lambo. I'll expand it out a little bit, but I want you all to see yourself and to compete, and it'd be good for you guys to compete. Oh, I have to get a bigger trade. Oh, I have to uh, one thousand two hundred and five for Anthony. I got to beat that. All right, how am I how am I going to beat that? He did that in one day. That was one day, one pattern trade. Boom to the downside. A lot of volatility, right? So looking at that, yeah, I want it to be competitive. It's going to be good for you guys to have a little bit uh, a little bit of competition, right? We're excited about that. So Steve. Looking for an entry. That 86 was the way to go, Steve. You know that 86. Make sure you double click on your Fibonacci's. When it says Fib retracement, make sure you change, modify, or add and put in the 0 .86. 0 .86. You have to. That's what we just hit. That's our level. That's the custom VIP way to be. That's why we have the emoji. Boom. Bam. There we go. So... It's been a day, guys, trading everything else. Congratulations to all the VIP. You guys are doing awesome. Man, we got everybody in triple digits, not just slight triple digits. Everybody just killed the market. What a weekend. Hello. What a weekend. Congratulations to the VIP. Awesome. We'll recover. Uh, we'll recover during the week. We'll hit it for another weekend, I guess. 3.89% down. BTC, 25000 all right, and let's take a look at the futures real quickly just to express this to you guys. What are the futures doing? NASDAQ futures down nearly 2% after Wall Street's, all Wall Street's worst week since January. So, yeah, we got some challenges with equities. That's no problem, guys. Wherever it's going, we're going to trade it on the way there. And I mean it, guys. I mean it like that. Literally like this. Boom. Descending triangulation. Bam. Beautiful right beautifully well done congratulations you guys just you just rocked the house man so uh we'll get more in store in terms of price action in terms of directions targets below or you guys prefer to really trade in at specific levels with patterns etc we'll work on some additional strategies in 2022 for you just remember guys in terms of this i'm looking forward to this target okay i'm looking forward to that target in the meantime like in the meantime right in terms of the levels in here right we're gonna be uh you know we're, we're gonna be mm, guys uh bitcoin's in a difficult spot if you're trading for some volatility like we are you're gonna be happy period it's going up it's going down right the primitive powers of i feel bitcoin really going well tomorrow not going well uh wednesday it's gonna reverse on tuesday or or friday and uh when asia opens the New York session is bound to be good. If, if whatever, guys. No, 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 guys. No, 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 no. It. Uh, Wall Street writes the right. Put the hammer down. Right. Nasdaq puts the hammer down. Right. All right. The Dow puts the hammer down. Um. And and the Federal Reserve is putting the hammer down. Uh, gonna need to put the hammer down probably a little bit harder, don't you guys think? So we're cognizant of that, and just don't be overexposed. You can make more of a difference in your trade account in 10 minutes of the right minutes right then you can sometimes in two or three days or two or three weeks right don't don't overlook that you can make more of a difference in your trade account in in 10 or 20 minutes of the right minutes right 
more than you can in in a two or three week time period of the wrong two or three weeks and approach in the wrong in those two or three weeks. So the idea is to get you guys there mentally to where you could receive that, where you can achieve that, where you're always you're you're in that state, right? You're in that mental framework where you sit down and boom, you're in the zone immediately, right? But that's not all day every day for some of you. Some of you can, but others of you will have a sweet spot. It'll be the morning. It'll be the afternoon. It'll be uh, maybe when price is in a specific pattern you like. Buy at support. Sell at resistance. Long at support, right? right? You say buy or long at support, right? Sell or short at resistance. Trade your patterns and hit your targets. Easy stuff, right? Easy stuff. Yeah, the more that you write those things down and you identify which things you're having problems with, what's costing you money, right? What's the thing that's costing you money? Yeah, you look at your trades that are down. What's costing you money? Yeah, the buy it support, are you doing that? What if you're not doing that at all? And you're losing your trades. You're just trading patterns because those are your favorite because you identify with those. Maybe it's more difficult for you to draw levels of support and resistance, Right? It's easy to identify, turn a page in a book and see a pattern, but you're finding that you're losing. Right? So you need to pay attention to your losses if you're not uh, of the rule book there. Buy at support, sell at resistance, trade your patterns, hit your targets. Are you buying at all at support? Maybe you're buying too much at support. Maybe you're not adjusting for the parameters of a flexible support where support is pushing down. Maybe you're only buying at support while we're going down. Have you thought of that? You've been committed to buying at support the whole time we're going down. Well, while we're going down, a lot of levels of support are being broken, right? Be a good time to sell at resistance while we're going down. You see? So in the framework of the rule set, you guys are going to get there. Are you hitting your targets? Well, you're going for your targets, but you're not hitting them. Maybe the price isn't going there. Well, do you have a pattern to get yourself to the targets? We've added that. Okay. I want to, you know, slowly we'll, we'll refine the approach here. As you look at the hit at the 23.6, not a bad hit at that 23.6. Look at that, 0.69. That's a, that's a nice trade. And don't forget the fact that these are still nice trades. You know, you guys are up to four and 500 and 600 and 1,200% profit. Hugely important, 500%. Brand new VIP, Bill. Brand new. Put him into, and we literally got on the phone, guys. This, this was three days ago. I got on the phone with him. I put him into a hedge, and the successful half of his hedge is 500% profit. Beautiful. He'd never done a hedge. He'd never done a long and a short. Bam. Beautiful. That's a real story. What's up, Bill? <laughs> Just awesome, huh? I mean, probably you'll get, su I'll get sued for saying something like that. That can't be true. Oh yeah. We have a picture of it. That's fine. We have pictures of all these things, right? We have people in the back that are literally, uh, coming, coming up with the, uh, the gangbuster momentum, right? Of, uh, we, we got all this in the back. Boom. 1200, 1205%. We can, this is all verifiable. Good stuff. It's uh it's the right uh, group. And I'd love to see some sort of uh it's going to be too steep for a, uh, flag formation. We're 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 on the the cusp here of an attempt at asymmetrical triangulation, right? And you're getting the notion here that this is a bit extended, isn't it? Wouldn't you guys prefer to see a uh, a, a, a bull pennant if it were removed to the upside in a symmetrical consolidation? Wouldn't you prefer to see a symmetrical consolidation that looked like this, a little bit tighter framework? Wouldn't you? rather than a real strong push like this, yeah, I would, right? The more that we push laterally or sideways on a symmetrical consolidation, the more the market is prone to view this symmetrical triangulation as just a symmetrical triangulation instead of the entirety of the move to the upside and let's say a bam, bull pennant repeat of the flagpole. That's just the truth. You guys know that. Small little nuance detail, okay? But yeah, every bull pen it moved to the upside. Symmetrical consolidation. And now we don't have that there. We have, really, we have this here. Boom. Longer framework. 
So we're changing this dynamic a little bit, a uh, little bit, um, uh, just a little different. We haven't seen a move like this in a while. A little bit of a change of a structure. It's changing the dy dynamics of the uh, market on us just a touch here. You guys notice that who've been paying attention to the technicals. We haven't seen a move like this in, in just a bit of time, right? Level of support engaging. Again, if we're going down, are you only buying on support? Well, try selling at resistance. And let me see. I uh, went to bed for a bit. I just, you did a screenshot. Excellent. I uh, went to bed for a bit. Good. It was 4 a.m. <laughs> Congrats, Pathfinder. Just loving the loving the uh, the fact that everybody's killing it. Way to go, guys. Nice move. Nice move from support. We'll be in the back. Let's go trade, guys. And I really mean that. I appreciate you guys being here. It's been a lot of fun. But let's go in the back and let's go trade. I'll, I'll, I will get a video together uh, for you guys. I really do spend time. And just as a reminder, when I cut a video, make sure of one thing. Make sure that when I cut a video, if I, in the middle of the video, I talk about if you want to join VIP, just listen to that. It's like 20 seconds or so. It's not a big deal. As we look at a potential, guys, this looks a little bit better on the 15 second. A little bit better on that 15 second. Mm. Let's look at this real quickly. Mm, let's see here. The 15 second is a little bit more abridged on this bottom side. Let's look at the candle wicks real quickly. Let's see if we differentiate this into a specific, if we're comfortable seeing this as a bull pennant. Okay, that's the question right now because this could be a good move. We're off that 86 right now. And when you do watch those videos, just make sure, guys, we could be breaking out of this uh, this specific feature here. This could be a good moment for uh, for BTC. We won't go quite yet. Let's see if we have the juice to roll to the upside. Hopefully, you guys have been uh, just uh, killing it in the market. I have been. It's been a great day and a great week. We're excited about everything that VIP are doing. And, yeah, you guys just uh, rocking and rolling in the back. Let's see. Now, this is a move to the upside. I'm going to go ahead and... For some reason, the 15 second looks just better. It typically will. Uh, I guess we were a little bit too narrowly focused in on the, I still keep wanting to truncate this. Now, the idea is the following. On any bull pennant move to the upside in symmetrical consolidation, what we want is we want some just real rapid consolidation, okay? We want bam, 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 bam. We don't want a nice, easy, flowing, smooth, you know, extended kind of, uh, course to take with price. We want bam, bam, resistance, support, resistance, support, resistance, support, boom. We want one, two, three, four, five, bam. We want this to occur quickly, right? We need buyers to engage. We need sellers to engage. Buyers on support, sellers on resistance, right? Without a doubt. You guys know that. So, bit of capitulation here. Now, did that give us enough for a bull flag? Let's go ahead with the parallel channel carry down. Pathfinder, appreciate all your charts in the back, brother. Some of you guys get this like uh, like perfectly, really solidly putting your, I mean, you got your, your trade games are just, they're on it. Yeah, you, they're just on it. Um, this, trade psychology can still get to you a bit. Most of that has to do with your schedule, believe it or not. I think your schedule, your overall kind of temperament, what are you staying busy with or what else in, in your life is, is kind of taking your time a bit. Now, what do we have here that VIP know about? We have a bit of a, let's look at this, a bit of a, if we if we could push this over and through, a bit of a target. This is an interesting dynamic to put in the framework of the, let's say the apex of the ascension, because that's right just kissed off the top of the apex. Very important that we would note that. Different time frames will show you a different demonstration here. But as we would recapitulate back down, do note that apex is the goal. Boom. Okay? That's the goal. Between the agreement of the buyers and the sellers, that destination price, it's like a carved out, uh, it's like a road on the map. That's like we went ahead and paved the road. Okay, we paved the road. That's the apex. Someone's going to want to drive on that. It becomes a target. But we like to say we need a, an, uh, we need some sort of a, formation, pattern formation to get to that target, whether or not it's a long or it's a short. Um, yeah, you want to do this way more often than you're doing it now, Pathfinder. I know that. Um, and again, if you're booking trades, I got to tell you guys, if you're working full-time somewhere else, you're doing something else, you got full, yeah, it feels like you got four families 
man, what happened? My kids are starting to grow up. It feels like I have four families, right? <laughs> Whatever it is, guys understand um, those challenges are going to affect your uh, affect your ability to uh, to trade. It just is. Maybe it's kind of like a, a sad season for you, maybe for whatever reason, or maybe it's a uh, you're really busy, you're going out a lot, you got friends, you're going crazy, you got the you know the <laughs> the nightclubs, going, whatever it may be. All that stuff is going to affect your trade game. You guys know that we have an imperfect level of resistance, level of support. I just think over the long haul, you guys who continue to focus on it, that's the the goal and the notion that you will continue to do uh, better and better. Even with the seasons that come in passing, uh, that last month was just bad. Well, what else went on last month? You have to ask that. Well, last week was really bad. What else went on last week, all right, in your life? You'll learn to balance that all with the market. That's kind of my uh, my hope uh, for 2022 as we build into the framework of just uh, continuing to uh, continuing to uh, develop skill and trade game, right? So just kind of rounding this around, if we wanted to generate into a bull flag, I pulled the bottom line support, okay, up to the top line resistance with the understanding that we would still have a bit of an issue getting it up over the top. You guys see that? In terms of a level of resistance, we would have a, a variable level of breakout here, which could be beaten, but that would just be a as you guys understand the framework of what went on with this, okay, potential pull down didn't hold capitulation below. So we would use the bottom framework towards the top and challenge with the levels of resistance above, as established by this curl over feature here on top. Level of resistance, level of resistance, com complicating the breakout. You guys see that, okay? And, um,. You guys are just doing awesome. I'll say one more time, buy at support, sell at resistance, trade uh, your patterns and hit your targets. Pathfinder going to Korea, Croatia again this week. Next week, uh, you'll be way more involved. Got some extra free time. Ba-boom. I got, guys, I know you made, I know your accounts look really good. That's what I'm going to say. My account looks really good. I know your accounts look really good. If your account doesn't look really good, I'm going to tell you this. Be patient, develop your skill set, make sure that you're on a good exchange, and have the discipline to make sure all those factors are in play before you determine yourself to make that account look good in potentially the wrong exchange, right? You guys got this. You guys understand this. Don't try to. That's not a bad looking flag, is it? Just be aware of the level of resistance challenge across the top. We can pull from the bottom level up we can establish this specific channel formation just be aware of the punk out potential on top right the juke the fake be aware of that shorts will engage here in this market they just will to the extent that they will be productive do we have a downside target well i'd say this looks pretty good but what i would say is it doesn't look perfect some of the top traders Make sure every single one of their targets looks perfect. Every one of their specific, and the targets, guys, uh, in terms of the patterning as well, it has to look like a textbook. I don't like the variable top level of resistance. Just say, I just don't like that. You know, okay, big deal. You don't. I don't like the variable top level of resistance. That would probably, if I were to trade this heavily, it might diminish my uh, my level of success by probability by 20 or 30 percent i choose not to trade very easy guys if you got money on the line I'll, I'll be patient i'll choose not to trade understand that the more highly selective traders have higher levels of success it's that discipline it's that consistency consistency on your end also consistency on the end of the market what do you want to see what do you want to trade looking for uh, components that are too uh too perfect can be difficult do we see a breakout of that pattern I know I can't stop some VIP from trading. That's it. But we also are running into a potential here for this top line resistance from the preceding zone. So bulls have an opportunity to show their, to strut their stuff now. Huh? Bulls have an opportunity to, anytime I see a bull flag, I, I feel like marching the bull around. You guys know that we have the Bitcoin bull. <laughs> I just do. Bull flag, I just feel like bull. I, it's just it's me, guys. So in terms of the framework here, is it a perfect pattern? No. Um, 
would I trade it? You get into this. Well, should, you know, should I just I, I throw into it anyway. I, I decide it's, you know, it's it's close enough. Well, what are you trading for? You trading for real money? You trading for a real account? You just trading to trade, right? You trying to prove something to yourself or somebody else? Uh, at some point, you're going to get uh, want to be more consistent with your uh, results. You guys are already doing an extremely good job with consistency every day. You're doing an extremely good job with consistency. We hit that top level of resistance. It's just not free and clear level of resistance here, and that's to be understood. Um, it would just be an incredible move. That would indicate, like, a really, it just looks nice. Huh? That's a pretty strong looking. As we zoom out, yeah, it's a nice. Uh, I'm a bull, guys, so you'll see me. I'll, I'll try and twist uh, almost anything into a strong bullish move. I just don't want people getting taken. This looks like she wants to do something, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, I have a reversal finder that I don't like as an indicator, and I think I need to get that information to Venus in terms of some of the indicators. It is set a red reversal. I don't like the indicator because at times you'll see a reversal indicated on a breakout of a bull flag, and then, yeah, and then she'll go ahead and scream to the upside. So be very careful, very, very careful as you would look at the the indicators that you're using. Now is the key function here, level of resistance across the top. For those of you who are in a trade, congratulations, we entered in at that classic 86. That's what's up. Congratulations, that's our custom level. Very exciting to see that. Very, very exciting to see that. And what is she gonna do, guys? We got a bull flag. It's imperfect. We've gotten over the resistance level thus far, except for this level across the top. Will be a nice move. Would be a nice, nice move if she can pop it. A lot of people getting involved here. Need some momentum. Minor confirmation. One issue. A minor confirmation here, huh? We'd prefer a stronger confirmation level of resistance to support. A real strong move to the upside. We may not always get that. You guys know that. But let's see if Bitcoin can get busy here. It's not a bad formation, huh? If you guys will zoom out a bit, it looks kind of nice, doesn't it? Be a 1.9% move to the upside. Ooh, that'd be nice. Wouldn't that be something, huh? 1.9% move to the upside. Put it, eh, stack on another $486 onto it. That would be um, a critical move for BTC coming from our 86 amidst the golden pocket. Now we're starting to see a little bit of action to the upside. Nice, nice move. Yeah, she's, uh, she's uh, getting a little bit busy there. Congratulations to anybody who's trading. Good job. I entered into a trade, and nicely done. Let's roll. Let's just go ahead and pop that real quick. Boom. Nice, nice job, guys. Nice trading. Nice trading. That's VIP, guys. We enjoy to trade, right? <laughs> That's the idea. We enjoy to trade. That is the idea. Quick flip hit. Boom, boom. You guys know that, right? Schedule in, boom, boom. You make that money. That's uh, 30, 35%. Boom, boom. Okay, just that just that move right there. Bam, bam. More than that if you maxed it out. 125X up to 60, 70. So we have that upside target. Nicely done. VIP making money. Ba-boom. Let's take a look at the uh, any kind of differential here we would have. Don't want to draw that. Have to. Let's take a look at this. This level of resistance across the top. Don't necessarily, definitely don't want to draw this. I don't want to draw that. That's where she did take a little pause and breather. It's from this area in here, a preceding hitch in here. It just is what it is. It's just, it is what it is. What a nice bull flag, though. To be interrupted? Hmm. I don't think you interrupt that. That's a nice bull flag. That's, that's, that's not, that, that's uninterruptible. That's nice, right? That would be a better line to, to follow through with. So, additional framework. Let's see what else she has left at the top. Some people will play the entirety of the flag. Other people will play uh, part of the flag. You guys know. We'll hit in and take, hit in and take, hit in and take. There we go. Up and through that level. I'll still have this as a reset point for a potential target to the downside. 
nice flag, nice cash. Way to go, VIP. Boom. Good job, guys. You guys trading a little bit? I know that you are. That's what's up, guys. Congratulations. Not every day you get a nice bull flag. So level of resistance across the top. A little bit of an overthrow here. And that is one heck of an 86 move. Look at that, guys. Our 86 hit for 3.59% to the upside. What's up, guys? That's sweet. That is awesome. That's what's up. That's VIP. Congratulations to the VIP. Very exciting to see you guys doing as well as you're doing. Anthony, 1,205%. Multiple, multiple 300, 500. Just huge, huge day for the VIP. Nice to identify this and to go with it. I went ahead and traded to the upside. Popped a, uh, just popped a trade up in there. Um, level of resistance here. When I'm talking with you guys and running the technicals and the station and everything else, it's just a lot, right? So I, I, I'll pop one here, pop one there. I get kind of used to that too. I, I, I like quick trades for the reason I am also getting to you guys. I, actually, I traded like that before the station. I can't blame it. Uh, the channel, the group, I, I can't really blame it on that. I've always been a, a very quickly uh, gratifying, that's it, in and out, and let it run. The bigger the cash involvement, the more I am comfortable with letting it run. And I mean like big. I just, that's fine. You know, throw a couple million dollars, throw you know, 20, 10, 28, whatever, you know, million dollars into it. That's fine. I'll relax. That's no problem. That, we'll let that, that sit there for a couple weeks. <laughs> a couple minutes, maybe. Who knows? That's just the way, that's the way I'm geared. That's the way I'm structured. That's just the truth. Small stuff, eh, just eh, bothering me the rest of my day. Eh, it's a couple hundred grand, it's 500, eh, whatever. Just, just get on with it. What is it going to do? Just get on with this thing. What's it going to do? Just, I want to take up the rest of my time and my day. It's how much money? No. no. Big moves, yeah. Big moves, yeah. I pay attention to them. Uh, let them uh, be a part. And also, it's like, yeah, you're in. Okay, so you got it. It's just different, guys. You would say, okay, well, you're in a, think about it. Just for a hypothetical, you would say, well, you know, you're in a you're in a $10 million trade. Uh, that's something to go talk about. That's a nice thing to go talk about. You know, you're going to, you know, you, you're going to spend the weeks of your life in a, in a, in a $100,000 trade. Ooh, or a $250,000 trade. At some point, it's like, you know, you got to, you got to sit next to the pool. You got to impress the chick next to you, you know. You do, you know, eh, we're going to close a multi-million dollar deal. We're going to do this and that and everything else. You've got to know this, huh? You got a hot chick next to you at the pool. You're going to have to, you're going to have to talk, you know, you're on the phone with your guys, you're talking and everything else. You know, we got a Bitcoin trade for 115,000. It's like, you know, is that, you know, if you have to talk about the number of Bitcoin, you have to divide it into, it's kind of like, well, maybe not. Yeah, I won't discuss that in front of this hot chick next to me. Yes, anyway, they're out there. It's summertime, guys. I got to tell you, the good news. I have scoped it out. They are out there. All right? I can I can attest. I'm a witness. You have a witness. It would be me. They are out there. Heat seekers. The, the women by the pool. They're there for the sun. They love it. Nothing like it. Just good times. So we're seeing an underperformance here. I don't like to see this. Huh? We see this nice flag. Boom to the upside. Look at this. You probably wonder, like, why is London drawing all of these lines everywhere, right? Why are all these lines all over the chart? Well, I'm looking at lines of resistance that are being respected by the market, right? So we're up and over this specific rising wedge, right? Level of resistance, sellers coming in. Level of support, buyers coming in. Copy that. It becomes difficult up and over a rising wedge. It can be difficult. Now we can set multiple levels of rising wedges. We've been talking about this for VIP. We can go ahead and set a level two, right? Getting up and up, let's say getting up and over that level two rising wedge. And sorry for the talk about the, the, the pool. If there's any female company that would be offended by that. I just really, there were some really cool chicks today. We were just, I was just sitting there for like 10 minutes, you know, after I hit the iron, just, yeah, but it's, you know, nice company. I, I enjoy, you know, I enjoy, it's summertime, guys. Never apologize for summertime. That's what it's all about. That's why the pool is there. That's why that's why the beach is there. We, we go. We have fun. So, level of resistance, level of support. So, Venus just went on a cruise. Man. Hopefully, there's no incriminating videos. 
we're going to hope that didn't get too crazy on the cruise because that's one thing about the cruise is you're still on the cruise you got to behave yourself okay so level of support picking up buyers level of resistance level two wedge you guys get that level two wedge level one indicated here okay if we can push up and over here level two would be here okay we haven't gotten there yet not a target yet this not a target yet we're not up and over this wedge okay you guys got that so we'd need to get aggressive boom up and over this this would be this designates a level of aggression in the market this is not per se a bullish structure at all right now you have to understand that this is not a bullish structure that you're dealing with right here that's not a bullish structure yet mm -mm. you're coming off of a bull flag but that's not a bullish structure it can push up it can muscle up it can complete the flag that's fine but it's going to do it in a really choppy manner that is inconsistent with the momentum required to get up and out it's not favored by traders you say well it's still going up sure it is uh and there's richard hey richard my man what's up richard nice to see you brother appreciate that richard is a uh, former vip we think he's going to join back we can't wait for you to join brother uh, richard you got it brother i got to tell you this i don't know if you've been watching look at this anthony 1205 percent today off of this zone in the back we covered at 28,000, about 28,069. boom descending triangulation with an ascending wedge boom that is a heck of a trade that's vip Richard, we'd love to have you in the back. I know that you're thinking about joining again. And, uh, yeah, get that badge, brother. That's going to be important for security. You know how security rolls in the back. But, guys, we would, we would love to have Richard back in the back. You know, he's just a quality guy, quality businessman, et cetera. Really exciting about that, uh, that potential. Uh, Richard, get her done. Hit the button, brother. We're excited about that. Man, I can't wait. Really excited. Great to hear from you. And, yeah, nice to see the, uh, nice to see the flag play. Um, so to the extent that we're in a secondary formation now, we'd prefer to see a real formation here. If it gets up and out early, it's going to respect this. The, the feature here is just, and you see what it's doing, it's trying to respect the feature uh, kind of prematurely here in terms of this rising wedge feature, getting aggressive towards its ultimate target well up and above. So, you know, if it wants to muscle like this, it can muscle like this within the context of that secondary rising wedge, that level two right uh we're close to this is where things get difficult so that you understand we're close to the target on the flag okay we're very close to the target on the flag noted all right look at this guys 0.65 percent to the upside we have another 168 dollars to the flag target now do we have another target let's just mark that okay let's put that 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 line in there do we have another target this is all off our classic 86 guys huge huge uh weekend and night for vip it's a big deal so what we'd like to do is this we'd like to establish this run up again to the upside and increase as we hit the flag target here boom we'd like to go ahead and impress with another as we see the hitch here but impress with another repeat of this secondary flagpole boom boom now what has occurred we've engaged the target Okay, we have formulated a target. We're up and over this rising wedge. So this apex becomes critical for future price action. Okay? The agreement between the buyers and the sellers. Buyers on support, sellers on resistance. Yes, we have a target. Noted. To the extent that this level 2 wedge can produce this level of support, level of resistance, can we get up and over? Can we repeat the flagpole? Of the second feature, which again is not a, it's not a classically bullish feature. It just literally fell into the framework of this rising wedge. You guys see that with the support and the resistance. That's all that it did. Okay, as it went up to the framework of the really the let's go ahead and look at this. Really, the uh, the target framework of this original bull flag to the top. You see that layover to the top. That's real close within threshold, guys. It really, it's within tolerance in terms of having achieved that top line. Top line, the red line, which is that original flagpole repeat. Boom. Repeated. Bam. To the upside. They say flags fly at half mass. You guys got that? Flags fly at half mass. Bam. Glad we traded. Glad I traded. 
Good job, guys. Way to go. Glad we hit our 86. What's up, VIP? Nobody's hitting it. Nobody's hit the market like this, guys. Nobody. Boom. Good job. 4% maximum. Huge, guys. 4% maximum from the 86. I know some guys who are trading. Freddy comes to mind. Freddy, what's up? Hey, yeah. <laughs> Good job. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Now, Richard, slam in, man. Uh, go ahead and join. We'll take a, a quick breather if you can join, and we'll uh, we'll welcome you. we got a welcome video and everything for all the new VIP. You'll be considered new. We'll put you in the back. Framework, just pushing. Still trying to respect the level of support, I would say, would be the next feature. The buyers coming in, level of support, bam, here of the rising wedge. And that's a nice move. You guys know that's just a nice move. Like 4%, 5%. Like, what are we? We're down? What What are we, guys? We're down 2.12%. What's recovered this? V86. That's huge. That is just VIP, guys. We could talk about all the targets we hit, everything else. We could talk about it all day long, the returns. Uh, some of it's just VIP know-how. The 86? Come on. I mean, come on, guys. What's that mean? From the low to the high. Right? Boom. Our 86. Bam. Boom. 4%. Beautiful, isn't it? That is what is up. That is beautiful stuff, guys. Congratulations. And we're in the macro, just to mind you. Just beautiful, because we're in the macro golden pocket. The entire T, 65% retrace. Okay, I can take some of these off. And we stayed around because we had a bull flag. So we went ahead and did it, and we had the 86. So why not spend a little extra time, trade a little Bitcoin, everybody make a little cash, doing well. That's what's that's what it's that's what it's all about, guys. Making a little extra cash, making a lot of cash. Level of support, engaging, nicely done. Look at that muscle, huh? Just she's muscling up, guys. Congratulations. Now I'm as interested in the move to the upside as I am to the potential future move to the downside. So for me, if I'm trading, if I'm in a trade, great. If you're in a trade right now, congratulations on this 86. We've been streaming the whole time, right? If you're in the money, shout out. And I mean shout out. If you're in the money, shout out. That's the idea. Dudes, what's up? Let us know you're doing well. Bam. So are we seeing a repeat of the additional secondary flagpole? The notion, if you get bullish or bearish, what's going to occur is you're going to essentially find yourself esteeming the move up as importantly as the moves down. Right? You're going to have the framework where we have a target. Bam. You know this. And now we have a secondary target. Bam. So let her scream to the upside. These targets become more important the further away you get from them. They're nice to interact with immediately. We know that. And really, do we have a level three? This would be the first level three that we have seen. Truth, guys. This is the first level three. Okay? This is nice from the Classic 86, and this is noted on the Golden Pocket, the first level three in terms of a triple. Because let me take away this uh, deficient flag uh, there. But what do we have? Just acceleration between wedge number one, wedge number two, and wedge number three. Now, if we can get up and over wedge number three, that is as critically powerful as you can you can, you can. And guys, you can see something without just going absolutely parabolic, right? Because you're just accelerating from a level of resistance to resistance to resistance. The resistance is becoming vertical, right? It's scheduled up here with the slope, scheduled up here, increasing slope, scheduled up here, increasing slope, right? So holding on to this specific, I just got to tell you guys, holding on to this specific level of support here, we're in the golden pocket. You guys know that. On the macro, it would be an incredible feature to see, but someone who just turned the lights on in terms of Bitcoin at the Classic 86. Absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. You guys know that. That's our level. That's Bitcoin's level. So it's our level. 
This is London with Bitcoin Spike. And you guys are rocking and rolling. Really excited to see all the returns, all the trades, and that nobody is afraid or underinformed in terms of leverage. Join, learn leverage, let's trade. I'll teach you leverage. We'll teach you leverage. We'll figure it out. It's easy stuff. You'll like it. <laughs> You'll like it, right? In terms of 1,205 and not overexposed. However, I know when you have a 1,000 percent trade you got to kind of wish that maybe you had a little bit more in that trade right okay so now she's bouncing back and forth just a touch she's going to make this top level a little bit difficult is she still pushing in two well that lights up green huh? done it that's a nice nice target zone isn't it there you go that's hard to program isn't it for your i mean your screen to turn up that green that's nice we should just have that as an automatic feature on our on our deal. Huh? That's nice. Nice technical. Nice technicals. Look at her go, guys. Nice hit at the guys. This this 86 just been beautiful. This is why we get excited about the 86. You guys don't know that, huh? People know this. People know this. Boom. And let's see what we got here. I'll put in some uh, boom, boom, boom. There we go. Into the comments. So. Now we can look at the one, two, three, four, five. Hate to do this. Now, come on, come on, come on. We don't want to do this with the one, two, three, four, five right and the second overplay here we don't want to do that do we because she's got to keep going up but is that the classic elliott wave feature that we'd see an elliott wave one two three four and five a termination hmm? potentially right potentially that's what we'd see and i'll just say it's exactly what we saw earlier today for a big time pour down you guys understand that where were we at here you guys know this we were at a this was right around the one two three four five as i look back at this look at this feature guys and let's just scroll back through here i want to bring this back up if i can can i find that one two three four five where is that there you go and that was smooth yeah one two three four five hello good time to short yeah that's where this came into the mix. Ba boom. 1,205. Anthony, way to pay attention, brother. Now, do we have any differentiation here from that mode? From the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now everybody wants to look at that one. What did it do earlier? Take a look. You guys see this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. You guys got that, right? That's where Anthony entered into the short with the Elliott Wave call with the potential for the reversal on the fan. Nice signals in the back, huh, Anthony? Yo, yo, what's up? What do you got? Oh. Let's see what we got. Uh, something else. We'll look at that later. Um, this could it be differentiated from that other instance. Mm, it's still one, two, three, four, five. Unless, unless it would be nice to formulate something in this zone. Because we have such a strong bull flag along the bottom. To be honest, it would be nice to see a three, a four, and then a five. That's what would be nice. But we really need to pull off of this to formulate another. To formulate another. Specific level here. We need really to formulate an equivalent. You see this level. This uh, essentially the first level. In terms of the dynamics. We have a constricted wave two to three. In terms of this. At least the uh, the feature in here. Here in. With the, um, and if we wanted to call that a pennant. Etc. We could right it's just not it's not a classic pennant it's a it's not a classic symmetrical triangulation the preferred would be to see a bit more development in this zone to classify this as the third wave right then to the fourth wave and then up to a fifth wave that would be nice instead of the one two three four five and what we have in terms of this uh, where do we go here? Ah, did I lose it? I may have just lost all that. 
Yeah, probably did. In terms of uh, the preceding, uh, so yeah, we'll get back up to that. In terms of uh, what we had um, uh, drawn out beforehand, it was just a lot more. They were all consistent waves. This is a kind of a monster wave, right? A heavy set wave, mid level wave, and we'd like to see a heavy set wave, another heavy set wave, and let's get rolling. All right. So what just happened with this target right here? What just happened? Did we hit this target? Now, first of all, this never became a target on top. We never completed up and over that wedge. That wedge completed the way it should have. Okay? This target completed. Okay? Check. Now, this target, has it completed? No. No. Listen up. It has not completed. Why? Because we can still traject up and over. Believe it or not, we're going to have this rising wedge feature here. If we were to complete and traject up and over, okay? This would still be my target below because we had a rising wedge that did not capitulate beyond the level of support. It didn't do as it should have, right? It should have capitulated to the downside. Generally, they're bearish. If they scream to the upside, bam, we have a target. Boom. I don't care if it goes up and then comes back down in this zone. I want it to either break this level of support or not, period. It's either going to behave as it should break the level of support or not period if it trajects to the upside if it goes up two thousand dollars i will still remain with this as a downside target in until it breaches the level of support as it should as a rising wedge yeah that's a nice short nice target work And what I'll say about targets is what, guys, is the following. And that is a nice short. What I'll say is this, uh, you know, anywhere from like 0.8%, etc. cetera, once you got into that triple, again, we're really maximizing pushing with a triple, and that's just noted. I'm going to say noted. Noted to the extent that you're in the framework of not just surpassing one rising wedge, not just surpassing two rising wedges, but into a third rising wedge. We have not seen a triple. We guys, we've been we've been hard at this work. You guys know this in terms of TA. Nothing gets by on Bitcoin without us. It just doesn't. Okay, and so the triple would be a big deal. Just would have been a big deal. Golden pocket area was prepared for it, right? Um, and I'm I'm interested as well to the extent that we have a. And thank you, Richard, for that comment. Uh, appreciate that. We need to get you in VIP, guy. I know you can afford it, so you need to go ahead and do it. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you that, bottom line. Don't just hang around and keep having me ask you to get in VIP. That's the one thing that will spoil the whole deal. You just heard me. Don't have me keep staying around inviting you to join VIP. You want to join? I know you do. Join. Because I don't want to repeat myself. Ain't going to do it, kid. All right? We got uh, tons of VIP trading. Want you trading. It's not a sideshow. Got to get into it. Hammer in. Said it four times. Don't spoil it, man. Level of resistance, level of support. What is this? Let's pay attention real quickly, guys. Very important here. Hey, Rich is going to be joining tomorrow. VIP. What's up? What's up? What's up? That's the best news we've heard all day, Richard. That's what I want to hear. You're back from travel. Congratulations. Boom. Guys, we got Richard joining back at VIP tomorrow. That is rock and rolling. We get excited about that. Yo, 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 yo. Very nice. We can't wait for it. Boom. Yeah, he's going to be trading, guys. We're excited. We got some good targeting techniques. You just saw these play out here. Now, these were micro-targeting techniques. These were really... We have some additional factors to consider in terms of targeting. I haven't told everybody everything quite yet. I would like to build into 2022, if you will allow me to, into the entirety of the year with some things to still even learn in December. Right? You're doing very well right now, 1,205%. All right? 1,200% on one trade in one day. Right? Just killing it. But there are some things that we need to save for later some of you guys will probably like quit your jobs and you know i don't want you to do that guys you don't need to do that right no just be patient 
Okay, so in this specific instance, we had a level of support, level of resistance, and what do we have? We also had a throw over, ba boom. Where does that come into the mix? Where does that come into the story? What does that remind us of? Let's check this out. So excited, Richard. Look forward to that. Level of support, level of resistance. Reminds us of an operation outside of a level of resistance here that, boom, capitulated down. Do you see the progress that we have made from the 86, gentlemen? Do you recognize from this level of support, level of resistance, do you recognize that we are toying with the notion of getting back into this channel? Could you imagine us hitting the 86 and hitting back up into a level of resistance? No way, guys. Hitting a 7 or 8% move to the upside? Hello. Hello. We have targets. We have targets. You guys know that. We always want to hit our targets. But we need, what do we need to get there? We need to dial in, and we need to find a pattern that accommodates our getting to said target. Okay? Maximizing your probability in the trade. Maximizing your probability in the trade. Now, what are we getting? A bit more of a macro move in that, in that area possible. When I said on the underlying feature, we have A. Level of support, level of resistance, bull flag. What would I like up here? A bit more of a macro touch would be nice. But you see the throw over, level of resistance, and the throw over. Capitulation beyond the level of support is not out of the question whatsoever, period. Because we have a throw over. Typically, if you read the features, anytime you have a throw over, there's a likelihood of you capitulating beyond. Okay, now this is where Elliott Wave tug, uh, guys, it's, it's a, it's a uh, tug of war with itself. I'm going to tell you guys, you won't hear this many places. You really got to know your stuff with Elliott Wave International, guys. You got to. It, it, to. To understand this or to bring this up, but a significant first level feature waiting on the one, two, three, four, boom, five, right? Okay, argument could be made for a one, two, three, four, five. I'll let you look into and digress into the explanations behind whether or not this could be considered the level one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'll let you have that discussion with yourself as you research Elliott Wave International and you find the quote unquote correct answer for this wave. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. In the context of of our getting a bull flag as wave one to two, which is my preferred, okay? L wave one, two on the bull flag, okay? In the context of this being wave one, two, meaning one, two, then three, four, five, anytime you have a throw over top level resistance, the odds are capitulation down, okay? through the level of support. That's not me. That's just what a super what, what an overthrow is, okay? It's just what it is. But we're balancing that with the need to put together the formulation some sort of a macro bull pattern along the top. You guys know this, right? So we want to come into the framework with something bullish here. However, we're supposed to capitulate down below this level of support. It's a tug of war within and of itself with Elliott Wave. If you really understand Elliott Wave, it is a battle that it would have in terms of a one, two, three, four, and well, we, we, we're unlikely to have a five with a throw over. Anytime you have a throw over, you're unlikely to have a five. That's just the way the rubber meets the road in terms of classical Elliott Wave international theory as presented in all the materials I could find that they would publish in the Library of Congress, period. Okay? That's just it. I don't know. I won't apologize about it. It's not fun to talk about. That's just a fact, Jack. All right? We see this preceding move here. Anytime you see a preceding, I call it hitch. You guys know. Boom, boom. Anytime you see a preceding move in here, 
we're looking to come back to said position to begin to try and formulate something bullish, okay? We see the capitulation beyond the level of support. A, a, okay? Doesn't have to be a severe, severe capitulation. What's going on now? Buyers on, you guys got it, Fibonacci's, right? About to engage with, well, 38 till we go to the Candle wicks versus the lines. I'm going to keep it simple. I just keep it on the lines for everybody. Okay. Just, uh, I'll just keep it on the lines. Uh, engaging the 38.2. Would be nice to see some sort of a pattern development here. But you did see after the overthrow, the capitulation, all the way back down to. This is the key. Okay. This is the key, guys. This is the numero uno. Um, pay me in cash or check is fine kind of a move okay because we had the channel formation from the support copy that we had the carry up perfect channel formation along the resistance boom what do we have we had a throw over you guys listening capiche boom throw over likelihood is what well the likelihood is a short of at least 1.68 percent that's the likelihood could you get hammered and burned and liquidated on that move? You betcha. Could you get hammered, burned, and liquidated four or five times in a row? Absolutely. But the Library of Congress is still going to have Elliott Wave International telling you the likelihood is you're going to capitulate through this level of support. Okay? And if you go long here, and if you get burned and hammered and liquidated, right? <laughs> going along. This little voice that sounds just like mine is going to resound just about like right now telling you the probability is that an overthrow will capitulate down beyond the level of support. Down beyond the level of support. You guys got it? And it has to do with the with the wave formation it has to do with the level of express power between the buyers and sellers and the inability to hold support after violating resistance. And we looked at it in terms of wedges. Okay. And you can create the dynamic out of the overthrow and to accommodate the wedge theory that we have in place as well. Pretty cool stuff, guys. Pretty cool stuff. While we see the potential for a bullish trajectory now from the 38.2. Okay? So you guys are trading. You're doing well. You guys, your accounts look good. Heavy reserve capital. Hey. Hey. You make more than you trade? Hey. I like that. You make more than you trade. <laughs> it sounds like you'd be VIP for a while. You make more than you trade. Man, that's the best idea I have ever heard in my life. You earn more than you trade. Hey, <laughs> congratulations. Because, guys, it takes people years to get this down. And I'll tell you guys, it takes pro traders who go sit at desks a while, a good while to become real quote-unquote pros. And they're going to beat the street? Oh, they're going to do that right away, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Sure, guys. The guy shows up, he's his first year out of business school. He's a trader at an energy desk. He's just gonna he's gonna beat the whole market, man. He he is, guys. He's gonna sit down at his desk. There's fifty of them on the floor. He's gonna beat all fifty of them, and he's gonna beat the whole street. Internationally as well, right? Mm, come on, guys. You've known enough traders, pro traders. I have. No, oh, no, 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 guys. You gotta think about this. It's competitive for him guy with the job who just got an energy he's a he's a commodities broker trader he does he, he trades okay stocks equities forex whatever he does he goes to compete he is pro he has secretary facilities he has you know 15 screens he's screens he's got uh, all the technology and know-how he would need he still competes with himself he competes with his own, his own issues, right? He competes with everybody on that floor. Then he's going to go, he's going to beat all those guys. And then he's going to go beat the whole of the street. 
Understand, guys, this is a competitive, competitive arena. Period. You know this. You know this. I have known some some rock and roll kind of traders, guys. Number one on the street. Period. So, they still ask questions. They still have awful days. Like, embarrassing days that could get them fired. I'm telling you, okay? Believe it or not. They still have awful, embarrassing days that could get them fired. The number one guys. Okay? Trying to see if we have a bit of a bear flag retouch on 38 to. And congrats to anybody who shorted. Ba ba boom. I know one of you did. I know one of you did. One of you had to, huh? Now, what do we have here? In the framework here, we have. A wedge. The constriction between the resistance sellers, support buyers. I don't care if it gets messy along a level of support and breaches a level of support. That's fine. The key feature is this is supposed to break to the upside. So it's either going to break to the upside. Okay, listen. It's either going to break to the upside or... If it breaks down, I am going to target the apex. We are going to target the apex. That level of agreement between buyers and sellers. That's a road that has been paved, right? There's an intersection been put on the map right here. You don't just leave that intersection. Someone's going to want to use that intersection at some point. It's an established point in the map. It's like, it's the equivalent almost, guys, of you. Let me just tell you this. A great example. Pay attention, please. If this goes to the downside, you know how you use Google Maps and it has those pins? Your little price action the upside is fine. Maybe it'll become irrelevant. But it has the pins, like the red drop pin on your Google Map, right? It would be the equivalent of you having your Google Map and seeing it's like, well, you have all these blue pins or these red pins or this one blue pin. It just won't go away, right? It's just It's just stuck on the map. And everybody in town sees that same blue pin stuck on your map, on their Google map. Everybody. That is that blue pin that would be stuck on the map. Okay? But we completed to the upside. So, I take that away. It did what it's supposed to do. Hey, did what it's supposed to do. It behaved properly. It's descending wedge. It's supposed to break to the upside. That's fine. Right there is fine. Just that alone is fine. That's all it needed to do, not to become a target. Okay? That's it. Just do what you're supposed to do. You won't become a target. That's it. Now, in terms of this specific feature up along the top, we see the rising wedge feature. Eliminate the top portion. Eliminate this up in here. I don't care what it does over top of the rising wedge. Resistance constricting there with the level of support. I don't care what it does. It could go up a million percent. But if it doesn't break the level of support as it's supposed to, and frame this out of your mind. It's just an overplay. This was a level of resistance, level of support, right? So it was a rising wedge here in, okay? To the extent it trajected up and over, dangerous area to go long. Dangerous over a rising wedge anytime. So, ba boom. We see the support level broken. We see this level reached anytime we're up on over the top of, uh, of a rising wedge. I've marked this. That's that little map that you have, the Google map, and you're going to be looking at it. And everyone in town is looking at it. I mean, everybody who has a Google map and is like, man, there's a blue, there's this blue mark on here. What is this thing? Everyone in town is looking at their Google map and it has this on it. Except what? They're all traders, and everybody knows, hmm, this thing didn't behave right, right? Hey, this was a problem right here, okay? Now, not every pattern or every uh, specific target will get hit. However, and there will be accommodations, there will be additional circumstances or rules that you'll want to deploy, okay? And there is an art to this 
not that it is subjective at all, but you have to understand your rules, period. You have got to understand your rules. You've got to understand. I want two contact points along the level of resistance. I want two contact points along a level of support. I don't care if it quote unquote pushes. This is, this is second level stuff, guys. Next level stuff here. Pay attention. I don't care if it pushes. Well, hold on, London. You are just the same guy that says as long as it breaks out, it won't be a target. That's right. That level up there won't become a target. Where we were at right in this zone, that won't become a target. But now I want to redefine this narrowing wedge. I'm going to maximize this specific height. I want the height, right? Because it's going to be an upside target, potentially. So I want the height. I'm going to draw it to where I maximize level of resistance and the level of support I can cut into. Let's see. Level of resistance. I'm going to do one here, right, with where it pushed. Reincorporate that to the original up here. There we go. Boom. And then on this level of support here, I'm going to frame in this level right here. Boom. I don't care if it cuts across the bottom. I don't care if it breaches the level of support. That's fine. What I'm concerned about is are you going to behave the way you should? This one, level of resistance. It's a descending wedge. I could draw this as, as aggressively as I want to. Well, it's going to do this, but hey, it saves itself and it goes to the upside. This is where this this involves a little bit of, of know-how, guys. Okay, this involves a little bit of know-how, okay? I need this to break this level of resistance. It's a descending wedge. It needs to break the level of resistance. If it doesn't, I'm going to mark this as a target. Boom. It'll be an upside target to the extent that we have operation below. I'm not worried about this level of support. I can stick with the original level of support. Now, continued failed breakouts to the upside will push this pattern. Okay, can push this pattern. I just need two hits along resistance. Okay, that is a primer on some of the detailed kind of forensics. We get into kind of like pattern forensics, TA forensics, okay? It gets pretty detailed, guys. Okay, we're targeting. There's more to come in 2022. We'll get there, but I want you guys to be good at this stuff, okay? It's slowly, you, you, I mean, you're getting there. It's just when you when you hit your targets, you see like, dang it, we just hit four targets, right? And you'll begin to master uh, more so your operation around the targets, okay? More so your ability to negotiate and navigate your trades at a uh, decent level, to exit at a decent level or a decent level or to have a consistent uh, position, add to position the further that you get away from your targets, okay? Now, that's not going to be at 125x all the time, right? It's just not. You guys know that. So we're currently at the 50% retracement, incredible hit on that, on our level. It's Bitcoin's level. So of course it's our, this, our, this is London with Bitcoin spike, right? Of course we're going to know Bitcoin's levels, period. Really excited about Richard Hale joining back to VIP. Manana, what's up? We can't wait, brother. We're excited. Yo, we got another trader in the house. We're going to be trading. So from the low to the high, from the low, boom. And Richard's business has been going really well, guys. You're going to be excited. He's a good guy. He's been doing really great in business. We're excited about that. From the low to the high, boom. Descending triangulation played out, overplayed, right? But we have that classic 86, bam. And what do we have? The 786 and the 86 on this range function on the hourly fits within giving us in this golden zone one, two, two levels in the golden zone. What's the golden zone? That's the golden pocket on the macro. Big deal. Why, guys? It's like, we got lucky on this one. I'm going to tell you guys, we got lucky. I know you didn't hit the USDT, the Bitcoin USDT pair, right? It didn't go to the golden pocket when BTC USD did, right? USD went to the golden pocket a month ago. BTC USDT didn't, okay? So what we have now is a little bit of a gift from the exchanges, in my opinion. Why? Because we're going to the golden pocket, which is the 61.8 to the 65th. It is an open zone. 
It's the entirety of this zone. It's either the 61.8, any point herein, or the 65th. But what do we get? Well, this was a little different because BTC USD did hit it beforehand. So our first entry into the into this golden pocket on the macro, right? The golden pocket, the, the 61.8 to the 65th, percent retrace, percent discount on the entirety. Our first entry on USDT and our first entry on, guys, our first entry on USDT is what? Our first entry on USDT is with the parameters. This is so fine, guys. This is so fine. Look at this. It's with the parameters that we have an 86 or a 786 to go into in the midst of our golden pocket. In a normally wide open zone of the golden pocket. Guys, a normal zone of the golden pocket to measure this. Look at this. This is why I get excited about this stuff. You're looking at 8%? Are you kidding me? You normally have an 8% spread in the golden pocket? Not today, boys. Hey, today we have the 786 and the 86 primed for our entries. From the low to the high, you see what I'm saying? In this specific range, this specific range, last 30 days, yes, USD hit it. USDT didn't. The tether didn't. We had a DPEG. We didn't get into it. Okay? On futures. So we had the beautiful gift, and remember this, VIP, we had the beautiful gift of today measuring in our entry on a subdivided golden pocket. That is huge. You have sub-level targets within the golden pocket, huge. You guys realize what a benefit that is when you're trading on leverage? That doesn't happen. You don't get a bite at the apple like that, guys. So the next bad thing that happens in crypto, quote unquote, bad thing that happens in crypto, we're going to remember this. And we're one of the groups. We may be one of the only groups, guys, in a round for, for miles that understand what benefit we just got. We have subdivided levels of the macro golden pocket. Boom. Beautiful. We get to trade the golden pocket for profit. Beautiful, right? On the 86, beautiful. And we have subdivided levels. It's just beautiful. And it's going to give you a framework, believe it or not. This is the best thing about it, guys. Honestly, looking from here on out, irrespective of what this does in the golden pocket, it's going to give you a framework to look at all of your additional future golden pocket trades on the macro with a triple tier approach. Right now, it would be the 786. Right in this zone, hugely important, guys. Hugely important. Um, you would you would look at the let's look at this seven eight six or the eight six. It's going to give you a different approach for the rest of your life in terms of approaching the golden pocket. Just remember this as an advantage, like a three tiered approach with a discount level. Right, just a perfect way to approach the golden pocket because you always well if it hits the 61.8 i can't be left out right boom well if it just halfway you know it, it could have a, a threshold or tolerance to dig down into right or if it really gives a discount man i wish i'd gotten there so a three-tiered approach is nice just beautifully demonstrated for those trading leverage just nice so now, the caveat may be we may not get the hit they got, right? Because that hit was sweet. Let's look at this real quickly. Let's see if we can dial back over here. I want to see if I can get it on the five minute. Come here. Where are you? Son of a gun. Where are you? We go to the four hourly. Probably uh, over, over jumped it. Let's go to the seven minute. Let's see if I can get this over here. It's got to be right over here. There we go. I can follow the top now. I just want to see. There we go. It's not going to be like that. We were trading live in the back, and boom, bam. That was nice, guys. That was a period of time. How, how long did this take? 35 minutes? Dang it. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? Jubal was in the back with me. What's up, Jubal? Hey, my man. Mr. Alaska, what's up? What's going on? We're going to hit the, uh, we're gonna hit the, uh, the bears where it hurts, huh? <laughs> you got all those bears up in Alaska, huh? You got your eyes on them, huh? Uh, we got level of, 
nobody wants to see this. Nobody wants to see this. I'm going to tell you guys in terms of don't don't do it. don't do the fan. Don't just don't be a fan. How about that? This one on this we don't need a fan formation. Murphy will talk about a fan. Just just pick up. I'm going to say come on Bitcoin if you can just pick up. Stay off of please stay off of this prior line of resistance. This prior line of resistance. Now you know the market has orders cranked up along this line to confirm it as support. You know this. They've been treacherous all day. That's why I kind of hesitate to bring it up. But this prior level of resistance to confirm it as support, however it wants to, that's a heck of a of a pop up and out. Yeah, it is. In the framework of what we want for a fan, that's a heck of a heck of an upshot. That's nice. So we will take it however she wants to deliver it. You'll notice what we've been doing is we've identified targets in terms of pricing the 86, right? Nice hit, right? I traded. You traded. We probably, you guys traded with me. I hope so. Boom. 86 played. Then what happened? Well, then we started looking for, I, I took, I just did. Then we started looking for a high probability uh, trade for a pattern. We found what? We found a bull flag. Boom. Move to the upside. You guys trade? I traded. You guys traded. Boom, right? Bam. Nice move. Then we started to identify Elliott Wave Dynamics, right? Level of resistance, overthrow feature. Yeah. Big time. Overthrow feature along with wedges and targets to the downside. Perfect combo with the overthrow and the target to the downside. Very nicely done. And who's in the money? VIP. To the tune of 1,205 percent, 1,000 plus percent, maybe not yet, maybe not yet, on this move, no. But Pathfinder, yeah, look at Pathfinder saying he loves fibs, don't we, man? It's it's the way to go. 86 in the house, huh? So, and this is where you get to also, guys. If you're at a state of indecision in the market, I want to encourage you to take your rest and sleep and relax a little bit if you're in a zone you don't know you don't know if the price is going to go up or going to go down you can project within as much as you can look at you cannot project you can never if someone tell me and now if we're in a a larger framework or we're looking at a uh, more of a uh, like we're at a golden pocket right now but in terms of a bull flag i mean i mean back through this zone let's go back through this this is a perfect example Let's look at this, guys. When Bitcoin got going in this zone, the CEO of Merrill Lynch or J.P. Morgan, whoever it was, I think J.P. Morgan, Diamond, etc. I mean, he got out and he said on live TV on CNBC that Bitcoin was never going to go over, likely never to go over $40,000 again. Back in January of 2021. That's the CEO of like the, you know, the, the stick on Wall Street, right? Huge capital under management. Oh, no, it's never going up over that. Right? So, you got to look at the pattern. You got to assess it. You got to be live with your deployment of your technicals. I mean, live. When it adjusts, you got to adjust. Period. Right? Like finding the low here. Boom. That would be us. Bam. You guys know that. You got to step in. It's going to zero. Okay, great. Well, for right now, I just found an ascending triangle. It's about to head up. Right. Let, let's trade this in the meantime. So don't be too committed to the, uh, and I mean this, guys, in terms of the negativity and negative prices and all this stuff, we trade. Be excited about trading. That's the bottom line. And I'm not just saying that because, well, maybe I'm trying to put a good spin on it. Forget the spin, guys. We enjoy trading. Who's doing that? 1,200 percent. We're gonna have that screaming across the bottom. It's gonna look cool. It's already on there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna heighten that up. 500 percent 525%, 450%, 849%. Yeah, it's going to be good. If you're not listed right there, I want to know. Top returns. Yo, on that bottom central part, this looks best on a big screen TV. Make sure you have this on a big screen TV. Without a doubt, without a doubt, guys. We couldn't be more thrilled about VIP, just period. Cool trade group. I thought about this, guys. Pay attention to this, please. 
you know when you go to like a club when you're younger and like it's like oh that's the vip section oh i i don't know about that you know as we see a pickup here on the 61.8 the golden pocket playing relatively well nice hit noted but you know when you go to that right and it's like well it's a it's a, it's a nice club you know the red carpet the ropes it's you know it's very important people i don't know it's maybe i get up there maybe i don't yeah you, maybe you you know stomp and you know jump on the speakers with with all the <laughs> the party you, you go you go to party right you go to have a good time uh, whatever you do what you can but the issue is nice club let's say nice fancy place eh, not not that kind of place but you know fine cocktails even like you know piano bar nice stuff vip right uh, the monsieur with the with the champagne everything just dressed to the nines tuxedo he deliver your champagne in a tuxedo you know? he lights your you know your wife or your girlfriend's cigar nice stuff right and you see those people sometimes you go to the club you, you don't really belong there it's like well, okay you see those people in the VIP and when you're younger, like, man, that's that's important. That's that that's important. That's VIP. I thought of this. I thought this was cool. Because that element exists, right? It just does. It's important. What did we just hit? Well, we just hit a target. Congratulations to anybody who traded that target. Good job. You hit that target. Good job. I'm describing something right now. Not that I'm overlooking the fact that you just hit this target that we had on the map. That is what it looks like when you hit a target of a descending wedge. This one's already been touchdown hit. That one's already been touchdown hit. Okay, descending versus ascending. You got to get this through your mind. Okay, so return to the upside. Upside targets hit. Boom. Really, if I do this, we have hit two out of three. Okay, the, and the third one we didn't hit is because it didn't become a target. So that you know, it just didn't become one. And you'll get the hang of it if it takes all year. It would be worth it. I promise. I promise. For the guys in the back who get it already, like, yep, it'd be worth it. <laughs> so looking at this framework, um, we've hit this one, boom. We've hit this one, bam. Hit this one, boom, to the downside. Hit this one, bam, to the upside. When you see these in a rack like this, you will get the impression that these can be highly worthwhile. 1.13% to the downside. Nice hit. This one from the golden pocket has been maxed out 1.13 percent to the upside okay so those are over 100 percent moves that's nice on 125x etc you don't have to trade them to that extent but what i'll say about the vip i like this and i want to tie it in with the club or whatever it is with the piano bar and the tuxedo nice stuff literally i mean classy stuff like shall we go to vacation in the hamptons you know the vip at the hamptons in the hamptons where something you know or aspen who knows this is the point when you're young. I thought of this about three or four days ago. When you're young, you have this impression. It's like, well, you go into a place like that. Like, whoa, that's that's the VIP. That's important. But just think about this. You guys are like VIP of like trading, day trading, right? So there is this level of like, you know, appreciation for a, like legit VIP day traders. To where your children, at some point, grandchildren, something else, they may learn that you were a part of like a VIP day trading group. I would hope it would be one of those like, whoa, that's really cool. That's really important. And I may not be encapsulating the entirety of the of this correctly, but not like a, you know, not like a nightclub, not like a, you know, a cabana club or something in Malibu, something really like that but something that's impressionable that has this uh, a, an esteem to it that maybe not everybody belongs in there you know maybe there's this exclusivity that goes on maybe it's for like important people you know maybe it is really for important day traders like honestly like legitimately it's for guys who are literally 1200 uh, percent good who are looking at uh, hit the target to the downside, called the overthrow, short, uh, called the upside target, hit the upside target, long. As we get into this, I really think that there are some additional features that will continue to add, but along with the mix that you guys are a really select group, that you really, I hope you appreciate that. I'm going to work on 2022 to really develop that within a high caliber to where it's just really astounding when i say i'm building we're building in 2022 i want it to be more than like the cabana club and in beverly hills or hollywood or malibu and all this different stuff and i want it to be like a really exclusive highly driven 
and highly successful like well no you guys belong because you're you're that good and i wanted to just be to be known that you are that good and there to be that kind of you know kind of a weird odd kind of you know what a reverence or respect around that um yeah that's just the way that group is that would be us right and you know while we kind of talk through um recovery onto a target boom congrats to vip you saw the way that worked out okay just for the record you saw the way it worked out from support to resistance pushing to one two hit on resistance pushing one and i don't mind if it pushes a little bit on through level of support don't mind it needs to get back to my target because it never hit my reestablished level of resistance now that one will get tricky that one literally in terms of that ideology or the framework you're gonna have to work through that okay you're gonna have to get through that one because you can push the level of resistance out as long as you have two contacts there you go okay that's the idea that's that's the rule okay gotcha you guys is a gotcha yep you got it so it's just vip i want it to be cool like that it has to be cool because you guys are in it and i'm in it so it, it's we're doing a good job nobody else is targets this and that at a time and place you're choosing right less time in the market more profit at a time and place you're choosing not the 24 7 365 run you into the ground all the time no we don't want that we want to master the market right and our and our ability i, I say uh, match our abilities to the um uh, to certain goals that you may have right so looking at this nice uh, nice move Nice move from the golden pocket. In terms of expectations, now you would say, well, at what point do you shift this, right? Does this shift at all? Uh, certainly, no problem. Uh, however, I was targeting to the upside. And we say, well, how would you know? That's, this is going to get into a million-dollar question. I literally mean a million-dollar question. I've repeated that enough to where you understand that I'm serious about that specific response that I give. Well, how do you know when it's going to go to your target? Uh-huh. Okay. That is the one million dollars is the question. That's it. It's one million dollars. You'll refine the approach. You'll get more accustomed to hitting your golden pocket. Okay, to hitting your fifty percent, to hitting your thirty-eight two. Right. Each of these was a tradable trade. Twenty percent, etc. The golden pocket, nice entry. I'll just say for now, nice entry. One point four one percent. Very nice. So, some of it is, um, it's not subjective to the extent that it requires altering an approach that should be categorized as correct. You understand? It's not subjective to the extent that it requires altering an approach that should be categorized as correct. There's a correct approach to the market. Buy at support, sell at resistance, trade your patterns, and hit your targets. Okay? Buy at support, sell at resistance, trade your patterns, and hit your targets. And we have added in, to get to a target, you need a pattern to get you to the target. That's one of the increased probabilities. I'm putting that forth right now, and we have put it forth. That's one of the increased probabilities that you will have uh, in terms of a kind of a fail safe to operate in the market if you're just getting used to targeting, okay? And 100 rounds, going 100 rounds, 100 trades, okay? It's a big deal. You need to do it. You need to prove to yourself you can do it. And I know you all can do it. Um, nice framework here. You guys can continue to trade. Got a little sidetracked on the price action. Frankly, I know your accounts look good. We have an abbreviated flagpole to the upside. But I do. I know your accounts look good. I know you've been trading. And I wanted to talk to you guys just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not too much. We just had a great hit on the 86. I know we have everybody's attention. We had a great weekend. So we have deserved a little bit of talk. Even amongst hitting amidst the price action in our hitting targets. Yes, indeed. You guys are in trades, and we're going to chit-chat. We're going to talk. Talk it up. It's VIP. That's what it's about. huh? Lay the groundwork for an incredible rest of the year 2022. And 
guys, it's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you guys so much for your time. And glad you guys hit some trades. I know that you did. Those Fibonacci's, that was nice, huh? Boom. Congratulations. And Richard, we're excited that you're going to be joining tomorrow. That is awesome. I'm going to put that for uh, uh, for Richard. And uh, uh, that's just exciting. I'll put that in the, in the chat. So we can't wait. We're excited to get back up and going. And guys, let's go get it, huh? Let's uh, let's get in the back. Let's trade some more. If you guys want to, make sure that you take care of yourselves and your business and life. And uh, I really like that. I came up with that tonight. Oh, you earn more than you trade. I'll just tell you guys, because some people have that in the, in the reverse. Nah, that's, that's, not, that's not what anyone does. It's not VIP. Just so you know, that's, that's not going to work. That's not VIP, okay? You don't, you don't trade more than you earn. That's not the idea. You learn to trade. If you're in that boat, you need to learn to trade. And that's the key feature is you look at being lightly exposed. That 100 rounds will help you. I put you through 100 rounds, you're going to get it. You put 100 rounds the right way with the right approach, increase your precision in the market, work on fine-tuning your trade game. And, yeah, we want your account to be looking good. I mean, you look at your account and like, man, that looks good, right? You want that to happen, guys. We'll talk to you soon. This is London with Bitcoin Spike. Have a great rest of your weekend. It's been a pleasure. Uh, guys, really a great start to your week. And uh, ooh, let's get ready for equities. Bitcoin at the golden pocket, right? I am looking forward to establishing this as a target. That's the truth, guys. I want to establish that as a target, okay? That's my goal. And this is London with Bitcoin Spike. Take care of yourselves, guys. We'll talk to you soon. I'll be in the back with a VIP, and I'll cut you a video if 